everybody. My name is Mikey. And this is my TV family. Hey. Hi, I'm Bella. And my name is Charlie. Our family is expecting a new addition. I'm so happy. Will it be a boy or a girl? You're gonna have a baby brother. <gasps> I'm gonna be a big brother, yay. Yes, my favorite son. Don't you think it's a little hot out? Yeah, I'm getting a little heavy already. Huh, mom's a jokester. Huh, yep. Let's get inside before I get sick of this heat. Ah, uh, okay. Of course, dear. Your health comes first now. <laughs> Mom, let's go inside quickly. I'm worried about you. Let's go, let's go. Mikey, don't rush mommy. She can't move fast enough. Okay, okay. Oh, come on, honey. I can move now. Normally. I'm worried about you too, my sweet bun. <laughs> Mikey, aren't you hungry yet? No, Mom, I'm only concerned about my little brother for now. It's good to hear that you're so ready for it. Of course, because that's the thought that's buzzing around in my head. Huh, really? That's so cool. That's a lot of responsibility, isn't I'm it? I'm gonna teach him so much. Well done. <clears throat> what is that? The screams seem to be coming from the first floor. Was that really mommy screaming? Hmm, if so, why? Mom and dad, where are you? Honey, hang in there. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> mommy, what's happening to you? Mikey, your mom's having a baby. <gasps> and now it's in progress. Oh my god, mommy, hold on with all your might. Mikey, I'm doing everything I can to make it happen. Maybe I can help. No, Mikey, I can do this on my own. Uh, okay. It's a deal. Honey, hurry up. Come on, honey, on one, two. Careful. One, <sighs> and two. Wow. Who? finally. Yay! Honey, am I missing something or is there something you're not telling me? Daddy, is something wrong? That. <gasps> hey, you all must be my family. Holy turtles. JJ. Oh, JJ sounds cool. Wait a minute. That's my name, isn't it? Yeah, it works for you. Cool. And this must be my mom. Well... Oh, that's my big brother. Cool. Why are your faces like that? Daddy. Is something wrong? I don't know what to do. I don't know how this could have happened. He's not even a TV man. You know, I'm fine with it. What's wrong with him being different from us? Mikey, this is a big problem. Am I a problem? JJ, you're not the problem. <clears throat> Wait for us here. Uh, okay. Look at him. He's the speaker. I can't hear what they're saying very well. How can that even be? But I guess they didn't like me. That makes me very sad. Do we really have to kick him out? Let him stay! Looks like my big brother is on my side. That's awesome. Oh, I wonder why they went farther away from me to discuss it. I'm so bored here alone without them. JJ. Uh. We've decided we can't leave you to your fate. That would be cruel. Uh. So you can live with us as our son. It's okay. Yeah. You'll sleep and eat here and play with Mikey. Oh. Yeah. You're going to share a room with me. Isn't that cool? That's great. All right. Let's go. Where are we going? Huh. We're going to our room. Let's go. You're sure to love it, JJ. Uh. What's your name? That's right. Call me Mikey. Okay. And call them mom and dad. All right. Thanks, Mikey. <laughs> your room is ready. Yay. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Good night in advance. Good night. JJ, come on in. Wow. Wow, this place is so cool. Uh, What's up? We're just very curious. We just wanted to see if you like the room. Oh! There's even a computer for the two of you. Really? And a big TV. Wow. And separate beds for you and Mikey. This all amazes me. Thank you so much for all of this. Enjoy life and have a good night. And sleep well. Good night. Bye-bye. Mikey, your parents are so cool. Uh, JJ, they're your parents too. I know, but I can't believe it. Can you believe we got this computer just because you were supposed to show up? Really? Yes, and my mom let me hang these posters. Wow, that's really cool. I'm amazed. Look, this bed is yours now. This bed is as red as I am. Yes, we just picked up a brightly colored blanket and it just so happened to match. Huh, that was funny. Yeah, it's a sign that you're in your place now. That's cool. Uh, I'm getting a little tired already. Then let's go to bed. Yeah. I'm so glad I have such a funny little brother. Nice. Let's be friends for life, okay? Uh, okay. Sweet dreams. Sleep well, my cool big brother Mikey. Today was an awesome day. The next day. Yay, we're all going for a walk together now in this beautiful weather. JJ, keep up. JJ. Where are we going together? We've come to our local TV man park. Oh, Oh, I feel superfluous here. JJ, it's gonna be okay, don't worry. We accepted you, so they will too. All right, Mikey, wait for me. Hurry up, JJ, this place is really cool. Wow, Mikey. You're gonna love it. Hmm. Hey, everybody, this is my little brother, JJ. Uh, huh, you say brother? But they don't even look alike. Oh, look at him, he's not a TV man. Huh. This little guy is speaker man. Exactly. He doesn't belong anywhere near us. Mikey, I'm scared. Why do you have to be so horrible to us? Wait, what? I told you he shouldn't be with us. But mom. Mommy, JJ has nothing to do with this. Huh, ugly. Oh no, he's undermining our family's authority. Please, mommy. Don't call me that again, ever. <gasps> Mom, stop. I'll deal with you right now. Honey, wait a minute. Ah, that's a stupid speaker. I can't take all the ridicule directed at my family over some speaker anymore. Stop. It's all horrible. Let's get out of here. That baby was the worst mistake of my life. Mom, calm down. Please stop. No. Two hours later. That's exactly why this situation is terrible. Your mom's right, Mikey. Well... Do you understand me? Oh, hmm. The whole town is laughing at us. Wow. You've got to understand me. Where are we? You don't have to worry about that. You're a mistake. You shouldn't even exist. Oh, my God. So it's time. Mommy, stop. It's time to say goodbye. Wait, what's going on? Why are you doing this? JJ. It's very high up here. I'm very scared. Please stop. No mercy. And no regrets. Please. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't want to die. 
That was a good flight, wasn't it? Yeah, and I don't see him popping up. Well, that's great. It's done. I agree. Good job. Oh, huh? Mikey, we're leaving. Mikey, don't worry. We won't do that to you. You're our precious TV boy. But JJ wasn't bad at all. Why would you do that to him? I will never forget you, my brother. You'll always be in my heart. Mikey, where are you? Mom, I'm coming. I'm gonna miss you so much, JJ. <laughs> I need air. Breathe. Oh, no. No power. Oh, be strong. I just have to survive. Oh, I see something. I've got to swim to it with all my remaining strength. My hands don't listen to me at all. A little more, a little more. Yes, I did it. Phew, I made it to the tree log. What luck. I'm lucky the sea is so calm or I wouldn't have gotten out. It's hard for me to think about anything right now. I'm too tired. Oh, wait a second. This is some kind of horror. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh, is that a blue sky and some trees? Am I a survivor? That's right, I could climb that log. It washed ashore with me. I was incredibly lucky. It turns out this is where I'll be surviving now, away from my former home. Away from my brother, Mikey. I miss him so much. Hmm. Oh, this forest is so fluffy. It's beautiful. I think I'll be able to live a peaceful life here. And no one can chase me away because I'm alone here. Hey. Uh. Hey, boy. Who is this beautiful man? Where did you come from? I was brought here by a wave from the sea. I'm from TV Man City. Wow, but you don't look like a TV boy at all. Yeah, that's why my parents kicked me out. Is it real? They threw me off the mountain into the river. Nightmare. Oh, that's my brother Mikey. Hey, JJ, I can't live without you anymore, my brother. Did you jump off that cliff too? This is crazy. Uh, no, JJ, I just went down and swam to this island. You're amazing to me, Mikey. Ah, uh, no big deal. 1245 miles and here I am. Oh my god. JJ, there was no way I could accept that you were gone. Oh. So I took this step to be with you. Can we stay here? I'll honestly be a good TV boy, Uncle Speakerman. Huh. Okay, well, I can see he's really not a bad TV, so let's all live together as a family. Oh, does that mean you're going to adopt us? Sort of. Mikey, are you sure you can survive out here with me? It'll be fine. Let's go. Uh, okay. I'm stronger than I look, JJ. Huh. It's actually noticeable. What are you talking about? I'm the inconspicuous one, by the way. Huh. You'll stand out more than anyone else here. JJ is right. We didn't have TV man kids before this. Oh, it's still bothering me a lot. Don't sweat it, JJ. JJ, don't worry. Hmm. There's no room for hate in our extended family like there is in the TV men nation. Yes, your city is very different different from theirs. Nice. And I like it a lot better here. Come on, we need to introduce you all. Oh, does it have to be? And I want to meet everyone. That's the spirit. I'm sure it'll be fun. Oh! Well, I hope you're right. In fact, if you think back to those TV men, they were extremely aggressive towards me. Speaker man, oh, hmm. you're back. Uh, who are those cute little guys next to you? Uh, I was expecting a slightly different reaction. You guys are too cool. We can't have a different reaction. Oh, they're so cute. Let me hug them. You're the cutest kids in the world. Can we stay here? Sure, no problem. Stay. I don't mind. Cool. Yay, thank you. They accepted us. Have a good day. Yeah. You rest and we'll go. Wow. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for being so warmly welcomed. Thank you all so much. Hmm. I'll work hard, I promise. I'm so glad, Mikey. Me too. Thanks, Uncle. You're welcome. I told you there's nothing to worry about. Oh. We have good speakers living with us. Yes, it's true. They are all marvelous. Wow. And they accepted Mikey. <laughs> Shall we go home? Yeah. Uncle. Are we really going to live under the same roof with you? Really? Yes, since you don't have a place to live yet, I've made that decision. Wow, that sounds awesome. You will live with me and my beloved. Wow, that's a big house. JJ, keep up. Yes, I'm on my way to you. We're going to live here. Wow. I'm amazed, too. We're lucky. So, are you ready to step into your new cabin? Uh, you can live here as long as you want. It's not a cabin. It's a mega house. Thank you so much for your concern. Oh, my God. Honey, I have a little surprise for you. Wow. Who are those cute little boys? Uh, I found them on the beach. They were caught in a storm. My name is Mikey. And my name is JJ. Whoa, what a disaster. Yeah. Stay with us. <gasps> oh my God. We'd love to stay with you. Uh, do you have anything to eat? Sit at the table. I'll give you some food. Over there. Come on, JJ. Oh. Because it smells really, really good. Yes, the smell is magical. <laughs> I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. Yeah, I don't remember how many days ago I was eating. I don't remember either. Don't worry, you'll be fed all the time here. Bon appetit. Holy turtles, JJ. Oh my God. This looks perfect, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Let's hurry up and eat. Yes, bon appetit to both of us. Perfect. Yes, that taste can't be conveyed in words. Very delicious. We're so glad you're enjoying everything. Honey, we gotta go. Yeah, guys. Your common room is on the second floor. Hurry up. When you've eaten, make sure you go there. Wow. Cool. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We'll be right back. Bye. Don't be shy and make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, he called me Daddy. Yay, he's apparently okay with it. I think we were very lucky to meet these speakers. Yeah. Look, there's even a TV with cartoons on it. Wow, I love cartoons. I can't wait to see our room already. Uh. Let's go upstairs and have a look around. Ooh, I'm really, really interested, too. Well... Let's get over there. Do you think it's a big room? No, I think it's a small room. Wait, why? Well, they're hardly generous speakers to that extent. Well, I'm amazed at the size of this staircase alone.
alone. Hmm. <gasps> JJ, look at this. The room looks big. Not just big. This room is gigantic. Oh, my God. You described this room with the real right word. Gigantic. And we have our own beds here. Yes, you have just the green bed. I love everything about it. Cool. Look, we have our own personal TV with cartoons in the room. Wow, I'm going to watch it every day. Huh. And then you'll be just like that crab. No, what are you talking about? Your eye will twitch too. Hmm, <clears throat> okay, I won't watch so much TV then. Look. Oh, and this must be my bed by now. Cool. Also, I noticed something interesting, JJ. Wait, what? JJ, look over there. Oh, what? It's a super mega computer. Oh, my God. There it is, my dream. There are three whole monitors. It's unbelievable. I'm shocked too. I'm sure this PC is very powerful. Oh, that's it. You're going to watch TV and I'm going to play on PC. Wait, what? I don't agree to those terms. Huh, don't worry. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> we'll take turns playing. That's Ooh, that's so cool. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. OP. These leans are awesome. I'm like Tarzan from the cartoons, except my parents aren't gorillas. I'd better not fall off the lean. Oh, hey, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Would you like to jump over trees on leans like this? Oh, my God, look. A burning airplane going straight down. How horrible. There's a lot of people inside. It must hurt to fall from that high. I wouldn't want to be on that board. Looks like it's going to fall not far from here. I need to get there as fast as I can. It exploded? That's horrible. I gotta get there faster than the speakers. They can eat them all. They were so unlucky to fall on Cannibal Island. I may have to meet the speakers again. They wanted to eat me too. Oh my god, that plane set my forest on fire. I need to find the survivors. If they're still alive. What a huge airplane this is. From far away, it seems so tiny. The doors to the inside of the plane are closed. Although I think trying to get inside the plane is a bad idea. It might explode again. I don't see any surviving passengers. Where are they? Oh, I think I see one. Just one? Only one person survived? And it's some little boy. Looks like he's the one who needs my help. I'll go to him now. Then I have to put out all these lights. The whole island could be incinerated in an instant. It looks like he's scared. Hey, boy. Boy, come here. Hey, how are you? You okay? Where are your parents? Hi, I'm fine, but my parents died on that plane. I'm the only survivor of the crash. I don't know what to do. I'm all alone. I feel sorry for my parents. What's going to happen to me? I know exactly what you need to do. It's to get off this island right now. That's where the speakers live. They eat people. Oops. More and more problems every minute. Look, maybe you could help me out. While I stay at your house for a while, I don't have anywhere to go right now. Yes, I can take you to my village. For real? Thank you so much. You are the only one who can help me now. From now on, I'm in your debt. We better get out of here fast. There's still fuel left inside the plane. It could explode. So cool. Never been to the islands. Thanks again for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Just let me remind you, this is a Hannibal Island. My family is no exception, but I eat plants and berries. But don't be afraid. I'll hide you. Two hours later. There's my village. The villagers are all out hunting now. But be quiet anyway. You're not supposed to be noticed. Okay. Okay, I get it. There's your cabin. No one will notice you here. Maybe. What? I'm gonna live on the street? No. In this cabin, it's cozy. Make yourself comfortable. I thought I could stay at your house. I'm gonna freeze to death out here at night. And it's uncomfortable. Look, you don't have a choice. Get inside. Anywhere else, you're gonna get eaten by my neighbors or my parents. Don't you dare come out of your cabin. I forbid you. For your own safety. Okay, okay. I hear you. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks for the cabin, at least. I used to build these at my house. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna go to my house. I'll bring something to eat soon. I wouldn't sleep in a place like this. What's the most unusual place you guys have slept in? Write it in the comments. Hopefully everything will be okay. Did you see the plane crash? There were no survivors. Could have been so much human flesh. Oh, hey, JJ, where have you been? Uh, well... I've been hunting all day, but I haven't found anyone. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I'm so hungry, JJ, and your hand looks so delicious. It doesn't matter. We need to try to hunt and find at least someone to eat. Our supplies are running low. Yeah, JJ, try to hunt better. Your roots and berries aren't tasty at all. It's not food. People are food. Very tasty and nutritious. Now, JJ, go clean up your room. Daddy and I are going to go hunting next. First, we have to gather all our axes and knives. We need to be ready at all times. Okay, whatever you say. I've never understood how you can eat other people. They're creatures just like us. <coughs> Woo, I think I got some sleep. I should go check on Mikey. Get him some vegetables or something. Or does he like fruit? Ah, uh, don't do this, please. Help me. I'm being roasted at the stake. Help me. I'm in pain. Ow, ow, ow. What's going on? Somebody grabbed Mikey? I need to help him now. Where is he? Where's Mikey? Oh my God, my parents want to eat it. They're already grilling him. Mommy, Daddy, please stop. It's my friend. He's the only survivor from the plane. Please let him go. Don't eat him. But we're hungry. 
It doesn't matter. I hid it behind the house so no one would eat it. Let him go. He's in pain. Okay, okay. You release him yourself. You're vegan. JJ, hurry up and get me off the fire. I'm gonna fry. Yes, yes now. Okay, you're free. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for bailing me out, JJ. They caught me so fast. Where do I go now? That way, Mikey. In that cabin. Don't you dare come out of that place. I'll talk to my parents. They won't hurt you. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on you. Come on. Go back before someone else sees you again. Thank you, JJ, for saving me. I owe you again. You're the best. All right, all right. Just go. Bye, JJ. Thanks again. Bye-bye, Mikey. Be careful. Why did he come out of the shelter? I told him. Oh, my God. I'm totally going to get yelled at and punished. JJ, how dare you? You took pity on your prey and sheltered it outside our house? We almost ate him. We've been without food for days. Yes, darling, it was so juicy and delicious and nutritious, and then you came. JJ, you're grounded. You're gonna stand in the corner all day. Yes, go to the corner. You're grounded. You made us hungry. Okay, if you say so, you cannibals. I don't want to hear anything. Get in the corner, you little idiot. We're sick of your antics. Eating people is a good thing. Yes! No, it's bad to eat your own kind. They're just as human as we are. Why don't you eat each other? Shut your mouth. We've lived like this for years. Get in the corner. It's okay to eat people. You're the smart one, aren't you? I don't think so. Your mom's right. You got yourself a puppy. And they need to be eaten. Finally, that's what I did. My father did. And mine used to do the same thing. And my grandfather did. No one's gonna change for you. Oh my God, what idiots my parents are. The next day. Oh, my back. Did I sleep in this corner all night? Hmm, wow, it really is morning. Oh, I hope Mikey got far enough away because he can't survive here otherwise. Oh, the speaker men on this island don't like outsiders very much, especially TV men like Mikey. I better not bother my parents. Uh... JJ, open up, I'm here. Mikey? This call doesn't work. I'm gonna press it again. Mikey! Oh, JJ, I missed you. And I wanted to say thank you for saving me. Mikey, my parents could wake up at any moment. You need to get out of here now. Can I come inside? No, there's no way you're going back to my house. I'll just come in for a couple minutes. What's wrong with that? Uh, oh. No, means no. Well... Uh... JJ, what are you doing up so early in the morning? Nothing at all. That's really weird. Who rang our doorbell? Are you hiding something from us? No, I'm not hiding anything. Then get away from the door. No, I can't step back. I just can't do JJ, it. JJ, step aside now. Dad! JJ, step aside or I'll punish you again. Oh no, okay dad, I'll step aside. I had a TV boy behind me the whole time. Mikey! Uh, hi, I'm Mikey. Oh, JJ, that's our escaped kebab from last night. Let's roast him. You're not running away from us this time. Oh, hmm. Dad, wait. There's something I have to tell you. I can't wait. I'll talk to you at lunch, JJ. Oh, my God. But it's very important. I don't want to hear anything on an empty stomach. The skillet is ready to fry. Oh, no. We're finally going to eat. Come on already. Dad. Ouch! Mikey! Oh, I never thought I'd be a breakfast. No, wait, we can't eat it. Huh, what do you mean we can't? Uncle, I'm not tasty at all. Just pick it up and eat we it. We haven't eaten in three whole days. Finally, some decent tasty food. We're very hungry. Wow, I didn't realize it was so bad with food. No, it's fine now. Just listen to me already. Mm. We can't eat this TV boy because he's here by accident. Oh, what? Uh, darling? He lost his parents in a plane crash. He's got no one left. How awful. Oh, my God. Please, let's not eat him. Let's help him get home. All right, come on out, Snacky. Ooh. Yay. The nickname is Snacky, which sounds cool, but my name is Mikey. All right, Mikey, my name is Speaker Man. And my name is Speaker Woman. Yeah. You must have known our son for a long time. Huh. Nope. We just met for the first time a couple days ago. Yay. What are we going to do? Well, I've got an idea here on how we can send you home. Oh, uh, what? I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, apparently you're going to get some help. Yay. Come on, Mikey. So what's the plan? I saw a boat at the shore, and I think you can easily swim it to your homeland. Wow, that sounds reliable. Yeah, let's take a look at that boat. Come on, I'll show you the way. JJ and your parents aren't as scary as they seemed in the beginning. Kids! Keep up with us. Hurry up, hurry up. Speaker Man can't show you the way home if you fall behind. That's right, so let's go. Yay, Mikey will be home soon. Oh, Dad, my legs are getting tired. Where's your boat? Wow, is that the boat? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we're finally here. Cool. And now it is my pleasure to present this boat to you. As you can see, it's afloat. It's fine. Speaker Man has been building this boat himself for weeks. You'll have no problem getting back to TV town. Thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, we're sorry we wanted to eat you. Yeah. It's okay, because you finally helped me get a chance to go back to my homeland. Uh. I'm very grateful to you for that. Oh. And I'll never forget my journey here. Thank you for everything and goodbye. Mikey, I'll never forget you. I'll see you again. JJ, why don't we be friends next time I sail here? Oh, I'd love that. Text me, Mikey. Have a good trip. Hmm. Oh, well. Hope he can get home safely. I hate to remind you, but we still haven't eaten in three days. Oh, right. What are we going to eat now that our last breakfast just sailed away? I don't know. But I hope this breakfast has a smooth journey to its home. Oh, he's still waving at us. Mikey, I'm going to miss you. Okay, I think it's time to call it a day because my stomach is starving right now. Oh, that's right. JJ, I dare you to go hunting today because your daddy's really tired. Wait, what? But I'm tired too. The next day... Oh, my arms are going to fall off from paddling with these oars. But that's okay. I'm finally home. Oh, still, one day on the road is very much worth it. I'm in my homeland now. 
what a great town we have! I wish mom and dad were here with me. But I won't be discouraged. I can survive here. I'll have to send JJ a letter when I get settled in. Too bad we can't live in the same place. That would be awesome. That's right. Six months later! Oh, another boring day. And I was looking forward to hearing from Mikey. I guess he forgot all about me. I'm so sad about this. Uh, JJ, you finally got it. What are you talking about? Your friend Mikey gave you this letter. Oh! Well, through the mailman, he's the one who brought the letter. Oh my god! I was beginning to think he'd forgotten all about me. Well, you can tell me how he's doing later. Yeah! I'm gonna go fry some rabbit. Thanks, Dad. I'll tell you later. I finally waited for Mikey's letter. For JJ, from Mikey. Hello, JJ. How are you doing? I'm great. I've arrived in my city. Thank you for helping me and getting me off this island. I promise you that we will see each other again. Mikey. Oh my god! So he wasn't kidding when he said we would meet again. How cool is that? I'm just so excited right now. Why do I live in such a horrible house? Why? Hmm, it's not a house, it's a barn. I have no money at all. And my job said they don't need me anymore. Oh, why is fate so cruel to me? I'm very hungry. Oh no, but there's nothing in my fridge but green potatoes. Oh, hmm, I'm gonna go take out the trash. Maybe I'll find some food in the trash. Oh, what am I thinking? This poverty is driving me crazy. I'm not going to look for food in the garbage. I'm never gonna do that. I'm gonna get a job and food. I can do it 100%. <gasps> Who are these beautiful girls? Oh, it's very noticeable. That's what I'm telling her. That purse is too cheap. Oh, so beautiful. I want to meet them. I'll say what the girls like. Goddesses, hey, you girls are beautiful. Can I meet you? That's what I'm telling Shh. you. Wait, some poor guy wants to meet us. Huh. Don't talk to us, Popper. He thinks a ragamuffin is worthy of our beauty. Wow. Funny. But I just wanted to meet you both. I want love too, even though I'm a pauper. Oh, I have to admit, I'm not going to get anywhere in this life. I should just accept the hopelessness of my situation and live out my last days in my barn. Hey, hey, everybody. Today is just the most beautiful day. The sun is so hot, I want to go for a swim. Look over there. I'm so glad I have such an awesome pool for days like today. Yeah, oh my god. What could be better than a swim in the pool on a hot day like this? I don't think there's anything better than a swim in the pool today. What am I talking about? I live in such a great house. I should appreciate my life and enjoy every moment of it. Oh, what's that? Buy a yacht only today. Hmm. For one million dollars. Wow, it's so cheap. I'm gonna buy this boat. It's a dime a dozen. I'm gonna take my friend Mikey on a road trip. I think he's gonna love hearing this from me. I'm wondering if he still lives in that poor neighborhood. I hope not because I wish him well. It's time to take my favorite $150,000 car and go to Mikey's. Oh, I still can't get enough of this car. It looks very stylish. I love it. Anyway, I gotta get going. I still have to stop by to buy a boat and then go look for Mikey. Hmm, I still need to stop for groceries and also hire a crew for the yacht. And I also need to make an itinerary for our boat trip. Where should we go? How about the island? Oh my god, I've got so much to do! By the way, the bus we need should have gotten here a long time ago! Oh, what lovely ladies, why don't I meet them? Oh, look over there! Wow, this car is incredibly expensive! What a cool car! Who's driving? Whoa, who's that guy? Whoa! Hmm, lovely ladies, would you both like to ride in my cool car with me? Oh my god, you're still asking? I say yes! Of course we want to ride with you! This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity! Let's go for a ride! What's your name? We're sisters! It's gonna be mega cool! Sorry to talk about it, but not this time! I'm in a hurry right now! What? Bye-bye! How so? Get back here! What a jerk, but so handsome! We remembered you! Huh, girls are so easy to fall for pretty things! Uh, does Mikey really still live in that old dilapidated house? Hmm, well, we should check to see who lives here! It'll be amazing if this is Mikey's house! Mikey, it's your friend JJ. Open the door, I'm here to visit. Hmm. Oh! Hey! Mikey, what's up, buddy? Things are getting worse, JJ. Oh my god, what happened? Life is downhill, no food at all. Uh, come on in the house. Uh, okay. It's not really a house, it's my shed. Yes, your house is in a very dilapidated state. Yes. Why don't you have any money, Mikey? I've been fired from my job, it's a nightmare. I'm living out my last days here. Uh, Mikey, come on a road trip with me. Uh, traveling? Yeah, a yacht trip. Are you sure about that? I'm all set, but I'm missing the most important thing. You! Hmm, stay here to die, or go on a sea voyage with my best friend. Oh my god. JJ, let's go. Cool, my car's outside. Uh, JJ, can I drive your car? Hmm. I'll be careful, I promise you. Oh, of course you can drive my car. Holy turtle. It's gonna be a breeze, huh? Yay! It's been so long since I've driven a car! Oh! Thank you, JJ, for letting me drive your car. Oh, you're welcome! Let's hurry up! I'm so excited! Hurry up, hurry up! Wow, JJ, that car looks very expensive! That's the way it is! I can't believe I'll be driving such an expensive car right now! Well, time is of the essence. Let's hit the road! <gasps> what are you so surprised? 
surprised about? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. What do you think of the interior of my car? One steering wheel here is worth more than my whole life. How much does it cost? Well, I bought it at a discount, just under $150,000. Stop, what? Oh, I can already feel the sea breeze. Mikey, look over there, there's our yacht. JJ, it's just an incredibly big boat. There's also a lot of food. Oh my god, will I be allowed to eat there? Yeah. JJ, how much money did you spend on this? A lot of money, Mikey, a lot of money. Wait, why? Well, uh, it's a lot of money to you, it's nothing to me. JJ, you are unbelievable. Uh, I'm jealous of you, but in a white way. That's good to hear. By the way, the yacht has swimming pools. Wow, I can already see one of the pools. Oh. Whoa, it's so beautiful here. I'm glad you like it here. <laughs> Do you want to go for a swim? Oh yeah, sure, yeah. Yay. The water is such a nice temperature. Nice. Wow, this pool is heated. Come on out, there's a lot more to see. Is there anything more interesting here than a swimming pool? Yes, of course. And this isn't the only pool here, so you'll have time to swim. Wow, is this man the captain of a ship? Yeah. Oh, hello, I'm the captain of this fine yacht. Hey! Since you're here, we can go sailing. Hmm. An unforgettable voyage to different islands awaits Ooh. you. The journey will be long enough to keep you entertained in the play cool. area. Cool! Sounds awesome! There is also your sleeping quarters. Nice! Enjoy the journey. Thank you! I want to see it all soon. Then let's go! Yes, you're right. Let's take a look at the playroom. I'm very interested. Wow, there's a pool table in here. Well, I was expecting a little more, but it's fun too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed too. Well, let's take a look at our sleeping quarters. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, it's pretty cozy in here. Oh, Oh, hmm. What do you think, Mikey? Well, it's much more comfortable here than at my house, huh? We've got a long way to go. Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty tired. Let's rest here for a while. Yeah, and later we'll go to the pool. Two hours later. Hello again, everyone. Our boat is already on the high seas. Now Mikey and I decided to lounge in the pool. He's just lying there. Hello again, everyone. We're here relaxing like normal guys with money. Normal guys? You're on my money here on vacation, remember? Of course I remember. It's just a joke. Look how I dive. Wow, Mikey, you're so cool. Of course, I love swimming. Why can't we swim off the side of the boat? What's going on? There's some kind of explosion. Everybody off the ship. We got a breach in the deck. Save yourselves. Where's the hole? In the center of the deck. I won't give you your trip money back. Goodbye, everyone. Everyone, save yourselves. Oh God, Mikey, we are drowning. Our yacht is sinking. What do we do? Is our boat sinking? We have to save ourselves. There's a life raft on the boat. Did he say life raft? Yes. Then let's get to the dinghy before our boat breaks in half. This dinghy doesn't look very promising. JJ, that's something at least. Just why did the captain of the ship sail on his own if there are boats like this here? I don't know. Why did the captain jump off the ship first? He acted like a coward. Why would he save someone else's life when he's got his own? Because it's his job. He's the captain of the ship. Okay, we survived survived a sinking ship. What do we do next? I don't know. JJ, look, our boat's going down. Oh my God, Mikey, we got out of there just in time. I think we should just wait for help. We have no food, no water, no compass. We have nothing. We're stuck in the middle of the ocean. Our chances of survival are slim. Maybe we should get to some island and start surviving there. But where do you see an island around here, Mikey? There's nothing but vast ocean beyond the horizon. Three hours later. I'm so thirsty and hungry, I'm dehydrated. Are we on some kind of island? We should look for people. Mikey, Mikey, wake up. We're on the island. I can't do it alone without you. Wake up already. We have to find people. Huh? What? I fell asleep a little bit. Where are we, JJ? We're on an unknown island. We should explore it and look for food. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go explore the island. Hopefully there's electricity and we can call 911. Oh, Mikey, did you hear that? It's the cry of a sheep. There's a village near here. Yeah, JJ, you're right. It's a village on an island. Yes, the village, Mikey. We're safe. They'll feed us and help us. This is so great. Yeah, that's awesome. I hope they know how to make burgers. I'm pretty hungry for today. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm having some kind of deja vu with this island, though. It's like I've lived here before. All these houses look familiar. Let's go, JJ. Maybe you dreamed it in your sleep. Maybe, but so far I don't see any residents here. Where's everybody gone? Maybe they're hiding from us. I don't want to survive on a desert island. Oh, JJ, look, it's the islanders. Yes, they're women. We should meet them. Girls, look, it's TV Man. He's so handsome. Hey, girls. Oh, my God, look how beautiful he is. Are they sure it's me they're talking about? Of course, you're the only gorgeous one on this island. Give us something to eat and drink. Will you shut up? Don't you see? I'm talking to the handsome man. Yes, don't you dare open your filthy mouth here. And with you, handsome, let's talk more. Oh, you're all so beautiful today. We jumped off a sinking ship and came here. Could you give us some food and water? We haven't eaten anything in a long time. Food? Of course. Come with us, honey. We'll give you anything you ask for. Will you stay with us longer? Of course, girls. 
JJ, I'm so lucky. They all love me so much. Have a seat here. We'll give you something to eat, dear. We have fresh meat and meat pizza for dinner. We really like to eat meat. Help yourself, my boy. So cool. I'm honored here. That's weird. Why didn't they like me? I'll eat with Mikey then. He's not going to eat all this anyway. But these ladies cook very good food. I've never seen anything like it on the mainland. Eat up, honey. You need to put on weight. You're getting skinny. Hey, what's that green guy's name? My name is Mikey. Thank you all so much for this delicious food. Oh, he thanked us. What a polite young man. Listen, ladies, we have nowhere to sleep. Could you put us in a house somewhere? Of course. Of course. Come sleep with us, Mikey. Nah, we'll give him his own place. He's a guest. He's such a beautiful guest. How nice of you. I didn't expect such hospitality from you. Thank you very much for everything. Anything for you, Mikey. We really like you. You are the best girls in the world. If you get lonely tonight, you can call us. We'll bring more food. Thank you, of course, but we're both so full. You're a delicious cook. Thank you so much. Good night, Mikey. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Thanks for everything. Mikey, let's go to bed. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Oh, they're coming back. Stop, you stupid speaker. You're not allowed to sleep in there. But why can't I sleep there? Because we made your bed somewhere else. Follow us. We'll show you where you belong. Okay, okay, let's go take a look. It's right there. This is where you're gonna sleep. Just what you need. A house made out of newspapers? Are you serious? Put me in a normal house. Yeah, that's a little much for my friend. We don't know anything. All the houses are occupied. Oh, really? Are you suggesting I sleep on the floor? Uh, yeah, sure. Good night again, Mikey. Yeah, good night, Mikey. We should get going. We got a lot of things to do tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Good night to you all. Thank you again for the whole house. Well, JJ, it's sad that you got a bed on the street, but it's okay. You'll get over it. I don't think they'll listen to me. I gotta go to bed. Good night. Good night, Mikey. He didn't even try to ask them. Friends, have you ever slept on the streets in a tent? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to lay down in this pile of papers. It's a shame the way these girls treat me. I tried to be polite, but they liked Mikey for some reason. All right, girls, let's take this tasty little beauty out back to the fire. We've fed him. It's time for us to taste him. I've already built a fire. Take him over there. Be quiet before he wakes up. Ha ha ha, I hope it will be very tasty. I love to eat people. The next day. Oh my God, my back hurts from those papers, but I'll get over it. Good morning, friends. Did you put a like under this video? By the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I can't look at these papers anymore. I gotta go check on Mikey. Maybe he's still asleep. Of course, in a house this comfortable, I'd sleep forever. Mikey, wake up. Let's go for a walk. Stop sleeping, Mikey. Mikey, don't sleep. It's daytime. Get out of the house. Why does it smell like smoke and campfire? Is somebody barbecuing? Oh, there's girls making fire. Oh, hold on. They're burning Mikey. They want to eat him? What? We're on Cannibal Island. What are we supposed to do? Oh, my God. Hey everybody, I'm JJ, long time no see. We're flexing hard with Mikey at the playground. Mikey, say hello. Hello, I'm Mikey. I wonder who could forget us. Mikey, we are unforgettable. You know, JJ and I forgot what was already in the last video. Uh, does it really matter, Mikey? It doesn't matter at all, JJ. You better watch me flex on this beam. By the way, that's a word we only recently learned. We are flexing. What does it mean, JJ? What does it matter, Mikey? Yeah, you're right, JJ. We really don't care about any of this. Because we are living in flexing. Yo. Oh, mommy and daddy are out. Hello. Hi, kids. Hello, kids. Hey, Hey, Mom, do you want to play with us? No, of course not. We're not little kids like you. It was frustrating. We have a little gift for you. Oh, what is that? That's two tickets. Tickets? I hope they're tickets to Disneyland. No, we don't have money for Disneyland. Then where are these tickets going? Not to an orphanage, I hope. That's two tickets to the circus for you. Circus? Cool. Can I get a ticket too? Of course. Take it. Hopefully they won't be around for a while. Mikey, we're going to go see the clowns. It's a good thing we'll be alone. Quiet. They'll hear. Whatever. Go stop and go to the circus. Have a good trip. You don't have to hurry home. Okay, we'll be back to tomorrow. Bye. Thanks again for the tickets. Get out of here already. Mom and I are gonna have fun. Um, okay. JJ, we've never been to the circus. We're finally gonna see those stupid clowns. Mikey, you look like a clown yourself. I may be a clown, but I'm a smart clown, JJ. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, man, the circus performance is starting soon. We gotta hurry to the bus stop. Hey, Mikey. What now, JJ? Tell me something funny since you're a clown. Oh, I think I know one. Why don't clowns like acrobats? And why is that? Because acrobats manage to be higher than clowns all the time. Yeah, Mikey, your jokes will never be funny. Let's go to the bus stop. You could at least have a decent laugh. Ha ha, I hope you're happy. I have no idea when our bus is coming. The bus won't come to you because you're a boring JJ. I'm not the one who's boring. Wow, it's your jokes that aren't funny. My mother laughs at my jokes. Mommy laughs at you because you're so ridiculous, Mikey. Ha ha ha, here I go again. The skibidi toilets are back. This time I'm gonna put an end to these little babies. Ha ha ha, they'll never bother the other toilets. Ha ha ha, I'll take them down. And then that 
clown started a riot in the entire Gotham. Oh, look, our bus is here. Finally, we might be late for the circus. Are you so sick of my jokes, JJ? Of course, your jokes are so dumb. I'm not laughing at them, I'm laughing at you. You can't think of anything at all. Oh, really? Try telling the joke yourself then, since you're so smart. Okay, here's a joke for you. How do you find a black man in the dark? I don't know, how do I do that? All you have to do is make him laugh. Hey, JJ, that's really funny. I'm just gonna ask you one thing, JJ. And what do you wanna ask? Don't ever tell jokes like that in public again. Okay, Mikey. I hope I get to hear a lot of good jokes at the circus. Me too, JJ. The circus isn't just about clowns, Mikey. Well, what else is there? There are a lot of cool animals out there. Elephants, tigers, zebras, hippos, lions, and so on. Wow, I've never seen them before. Oh my god, there's a truck coming in our bus. Oh my god. What kind of blind idiot crashes into a whole bus? It's a good thing I survived. Mikey's resting from this shakeup for now. What a bad time for that rusty truck to show up. What a headache. What's wrong? Are we at the circus yet? No, Mikey. A truck hit our bus and flipped it over. It's like he's purposely preventing us from going to the circus. How are we supposed to get to the clown show now? I don't know how we're gonna get there. We need to find someone to take us to the circus right now. I'll do anything to see the clowns. Mikey, turn around. There's a clown coming out behind you. Hey, kids. I'm so sorry I hit your bus. Are you guys going to the circus? I could take you there. I'm going there too. Get in with me. You, it's a skibidi toilet. Get out of here. Hey, why so rude? We should go with him. I don't want to go with him. Skybidist people are nothing but trouble. But we need to go to the circus. All right, let's go. That's great. Guys, I will get you there safely. Ha <laughs> ha. What's so funny about that? You're weird. Am I weird? This is offensive to me. I expect an apology right now. You better apologize, JJ. I'm not apologizing. He hit our bus. I hate you two so much. You couldn't even apologize in a decent manner? Then swim in the water. Maybe you'll find your circus there. Oh no. Ha ha ha. How easy that was. Hope they never make it to dry land. Let them be entertained by the fish on the seafloor. Ha 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 ha. I hope I never see them again. Oh my god, I'm gonna choke. Get some air. Stupid skibbity toilet. Stupid Mikey. We shouldn't have gotten in his car. Are we in the open ocean yet? Where's Mikey? I'm here. I'm alive. Where are we? We're in the ocean. It's all because of you. We never should have gotten on that truck. Stupid circus. Stupid toilet. You're stupid, Mikey. Okay, don't swear. There's a log in there. Swim to it. We can save ourselves on it. Okay, Mikey. That's the only smart thing you've said today. How could you trust that skibidi toilet? They've always wanted to ruin our lives. Stop pushing me, JJ. How do we get out of here? I don't know, Mikey. We're stuck here forever without food or fresh water. No one can help us. Oh, that's it, Mikey. Are you crying? Forgive me. I shouted at you for nothing. God, stop crying. Mikey, please forgive me. Your crying won't help us escape from here in any way. Okay, I'm fine. And what should we do? Mom and Dad are far away. They won't save us. You started crying again. God, the two of us just need to calm down. <laughs> Two hours later. How thirsty I am. Our log brought us to some island. What a strange thing it is. I've never seen such trees. Mikey has calmed down and gone to sleep. Do I need to explore this island alone? I won't go alone. Mikey, wake up. What? Mom, I don't have to go to school. Mikey, we're on an island. There is no school here. What? Why isn't there a school here? We have sailed to the island. Wake up to the end already. Wow, is this an island? So we need to explore it and find fresh water. You're right, Mikey. But this is a very strange island. There are some colorful trees growing here. I don't know, but that's exactly how I envision the trees that burgers grow on. What? But Mikey, burgers don't grow on trees. Where do you think they grow? They grow out of the ground, like mushrooms. Shame you don't know that, Mikey. I'm sorry, I'm not a botanist like you. You better think about where we can get water. I'm very thirsty. Whoa, look, it's a village on an island. So there are people here to feed us and help us get home. I think, yes, they will help us. Let's go out there and look for someone. Are you sure we'll be welcome there? Until we meet, we won't know anything. All right, let's go. I got a weird feeling about this island. I don't think we're gonna get much help here. It's better than just sitting on the beach and doing nothing. The land here is black and white for some reason. Everything's so colorful. It's like we're in a circus. Do you still remember that circus we went to? Right now, all I want to do is get back home to my mom. Mikey, the whole village here is built in different colors. It's like they spilled a bunch of paint cans in here. Or the people of this village are sick in the head. By the way, we still haven't met anyone here. Yeah, I sure wouldn't want to live here. We need to find a villager to tell us what's going on. <laughs> what? Mikey, are you crying again? No, it's not me. Then who's crying here? Here's who's crying. 
playing some clown. <laughs> hey, what happened to you? Why are you so sad? Oh, hey there. She finally stopped crying. I'm about to start crying again. There's no way out of here. They put this headset on me. I can't take it off. What? What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't remember who I am. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm the most normal person on this island. I don't know. She doesn't look normal to me. No one understands me. No one wants to help me. How do I get out of here? She's obviously crazy, JJ. We shouldn't expect her to help us. I think she's insane. No, guys, she's just hysterical. You'll soon get used to everything around here. What? And who are you? I'm a jackrabbit. Nice to meet you. You horrible and nasty rabbit. I hate you. Stop whining, Pomni. I don't like it. You're right about one thing, by the way. There's no way out of here. We're all here forever. What do you mean you can't? We somehow came here. I've been trying to get out of here forever. This island is a trap. What? Is that a trap? It's not a trap. It's just a place you can't leave. You have to accept it. But I don't want to stay here. Looks like only crazy people live here, JJ. You're wrong. Uh-oh. Looks like he's here. What's that? Oh my god, where have we come to? It's pink glitter. Is that some kind of queen coming down from heaven to greet us? No, it's not the queen. It's Kane. He's supposed to be in command. Hey, 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 hey! Do we have new guests? Let me look at you. Welcome to the digital island. I'm so happy to see you. What kind of freak is that? Forgive me, but I'm not a freak. That was rude. On this island, we are part of a non-stop circus. Oh my god, he's really crazy. We have fun, interesting, and exciting competitions and performances here. So why did they come here? They want to get off this island. I actually want to get out of here, too. I can get you out of here, friends. That's great. Can you do it now? Of course. To do so, you must pass one difficult contest for the enjoyment of our audience. Okay, we're in. We'll do whatever you say. Yes, I want to go home to my parents. All right, guys. Welcome to digital parkour all you need to do is jump across the platforms and get to the exit on the other side oh my god can we go home without your challenges yeah we're all exhausted after the ocean there's a way home waiting for you on the other side all you have to do is get there you can jump but i can fly that's not fair at all trapped by some crazy wizard jj that's not the scary part here just look down what's that gurgling sound it's a lava floor jj if we fall in there we're gonna fry oh mikey this is bad are you gonna do this challenge yeah i'll get through this if we make it to the exit we can go home mikey but it's dangerous. You could fall into the lava. Should I try to get out of here or stay here with these crazies and become like them? I'll take the first option. Okay, Mikey, I'm with you. It's not that hard, JJ. It's a very simple parkour level. Yeah, but one mistake and you'll be drowning in hot lava. Boiled JJ or deep fried JJ? I wouldn't choose either one. Calm down, JJ. We're just a little bit away from the end of the level. Yeah, Mikey, it's just a little while away. Then you go ahead. No, no, you're better at this. You jump and I'll follow your lead. Okay, okay. I've played levels like this in Minecraft many times. Finally, Mikey. We made it to the finish line. Now we're going home to mom and dad. We risked our lives for this moment. We were like rabbits in a circus, hopping on platforms. JJ, it's empty. Where's the exit? I don't know. Should we move on? There's nowhere to go. It's empty. We were tricked by that crazy flying mouth. Mikey, remember the words of Jack's rabbit. He said they've been here forever. But that doesn't mean we can't get out of here. We're better than them. I don't know how we're going to get out of at least this level of parkour. I mean, we passed that challenge. And all for nothing. Oh my god, Mikey, look. It's those pink sequins again. What does he want this time? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hello again, everybody. I already hate him. Actually, I can hear everything, buddy. You didn't like digital parkour? No, I didn't. Where's our exit? Yeah, you promised to let us out of here. I lied to you. It's all a show. You can't get out of here. You'll be living here and entertaining audiences forever. This is fun, isn't it? It's no fun at all. Bring us home. Okay, okay, I'll bring you home. Finally, we're gonna get off this island. What? But this isn't our home. No, it's your home now. You'll get used to it. He tricked us again. Yes, I love to lie to everyone. It makes me sad. Why are you sad? Isn't this place great? Great? It's a circus. It's a lot of fun here. I hate this circus and I hate all of you too. You're all crazy, all right? You can get out of here. We'll make a raft and sail back to the open sea. Oh, you're the smartest one here, huh? You'll never make it. Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? That's the sound of a helicopter. Oh my God, they're coming to rescue us from here. Finally, we're saved. We're gonna fly away from this crazy circus. What is this creepy place? What kind of ugly creatures are these? It's a circus of freaks. Mom and dad are here. They saved us. What's that mouth with the eyes? What kind of creature are you? I don't like him. It if you'll excuse me, but it's a digital circus. Get out of here. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Nah. That's the way it's going to be with everyone who holds us hostage. Mom, Dad, I'm so happy to see you. You're the only ones we can trust. Oh, babies, we missed you so much. Yeah, it's been a long time since you've been home. We were able to find you somehow. Do you want to go home? Yeah, of course. All right, then get in the chopper. It's time to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, and I was beginning to lose hope that I'd never get out of here. JJ, one should always hope for the best. And I wish you the best of luck with your show. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye, we'll remember you. All right, let's get out of here. I hope I never think of them again. By the way, I completely forgot. Guys, subscribe to our channel, like this video. Also, write in the comments if you like this circus. Bye-bye.
Too bad they flew away. They were really funny. Why didn't they take me? I wanted to get off this island too. Because you're hysterical. You're annoying. Nobody wants you. Nobody loves you. Hey everyone! My friend Mikey and I went outside for some fresh air. Hey, hey! It was my idea to take a walk. It's beautiful here. Yes, it's true. I didn't want to go anywhere Mikey made me. He doesn't want to stay home, he says. Don't whine. We'll walk a little longer and then we'll go home. I'm not whining, Mikey. I just didn't want to go anywhere. Look how beautiful it is. Back home, it's all the same. Please help me. Oh no, JJ, look. Who's that? Help me with something, preferably food. I haven't eaten anything for a long time. Oh my God, Mikey, look at this little girl. I feel sorry for her. JJ, give her one diamond. I'll share an apple with her. Make her happy just a little bit. Here you go, girl. Eat up and get yourself something else. Is it really for me? Thank you so much. You're very kind. You're welcome. Come on, Mikey. We gotta go. Buy yourself something useful. Don't just waste money. Okay, I'll buy myself lots of food. Bye, girl. Come on, JJ. We gotta go. Let's go. Bye. She's a nice girl. I feel bad for her. Wait a minute. You forgot me. What? Did she follow us? I mean, did we forget you? Mom, Dad, I'm all alone out here. Where did you go without me? Wow. What? What are you talking about? We're just helping you. We're not your mom and dad. JJ, let's get out of here as soon as possible. Where are we going? Walk or go to the store? Come on, Mikey, let her stay here. Don't follow us. We don't even know you. Jesus. Okay, the walk was a really good idea, Mikey. I told you, JJ. All we do all the time is sit at home and play. By the way, why don't we play something? After the walk, we can also play longer. You just have to choose what to play. We have a lot of options. We need to go and think about it. Then let's not waste any time, JJ. Let's go to our game room and see what we can do. We'll decide there. All right, Mikey, let's do it. It's all about coming to a consensus. Don't worry, it won't be hard. I think so too. Look, we can play slot machines. Why don't we play computer? There's a lot more games. We can play anything. No, Mikey, we played yesterday. I don't want to play today. Then let's go play the console. We haven't turned it on in a while. Hmm, that's a great idea. Let's play console tonight. Who would have come to us? I don't know. We're not expecting guests. What if it's that girl? Go and have a look. Maybe it's someone else. No, JJ. I don't want to go alone. Let's go together and see who it is. Really? Please, let's go together. It's not that hard for you. Okay, let's go take a look. But it's embarrassing that you're afraid to open the door thinking there's a little girl in there. Did you see the way she was hitting on me? I can't do it alone. Come on, open it already. Oh no. Hi, mom and dad. Is this our new home? It's big enough. What? No, this is our house. That's what I said. Our house. Ours means mine and JJ's, but not yours. What a great place you guys have. What? It's so beautiful here. Get out of here now. That's a nice house you got there, mom and dad. I like it here. It's better than the street. What? We're not your mom and dad. Why do you even think we're your parents? It's so great here. Everything is so big and beautiful. I love living here. Where's my room? This isn't your room. Stop running around and touching everything. How is my room gone? You need to do something, parents. I'm so sick of her. I have to get her out of here. Way to go, Mikey. Okay, girl, listen to this. This ain't your house. What? You can't just run in here without being asked and do whatever you want. You can't do that. That's right. Now let's pick her up and take her away from here, JJ. Yeah. Maybe then she'll realize we're not her parents. I think it's a good idea too. Enough playing around. It's time to show her that we are not kind boys to be treated like this. And after that, we'll be able to play the console in peace. Let's get her out the door. Don't come in here again. We're not your parents. Forget about this house. Forget about this house? Yes, you heard it right. Don't come in here again. Come on, Mikey, it's time to play. Bye, I hope I don't see you again. Go find your real parents. Whew, that was a tough one. I hope she doesn't bother us again. I think after this we can safely go play consoles. We may have offended her a little bit. There's no other way to get rid of her. She's like a leech. No, 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 no. Are you going to play the computer? I want to come with you. What is it, Mikey? How'd she get in here? I don't understand anything at all, JJ. I just carried her out the door myself. What's wrong with her? She's a little out of control. Maybe she's a demon? Moments later. It's time to get serious about this. I think so too. 
After the second time she was in our house, Mikey and I decided to take her away from the house. You won't see us again. At least I hope so. I'm sure she'll never see us again. Here comes our long-awaited surprise. The cab driver's on his way. It's going to end now. We'll send her far away from us so she'll never again be at the door unknowingly. Hello, did you call for a cab? Hello, yes, we called it in. You're gonna need to take this girl somewhere far away. Doesn't matter where. Why? And how does it not matter where? All right, uh-huh. Get in, let's go. I know where we're going. Just sit down. Don't come here again. The road is closed to you. Are you gonna pay? Here you go. That's more than you need. Thank you. Goodbye. Just get her far away. That's it, JJ. They're leaving now. Our plan worked perfectly. Now she won't find us. I really hope I don't see you again. Now it's safe to go to bed. And no one will be running around the house and touching everything. I'm insanely excited about it. Now we can sit back and do our business in peace. Only we won't have time to play anymore. It's nighttime. Time to go to bed. All right, we'll play tomorrow. The main thing is that no one's home. It's much better than playing in front of a strange girl. I couldn't agree with you more, JJ. Okay, it's time for us to go to bed. See you tomorrow, JJ. We'll go for a walk when we wake up. Good night, Mikey. See ya. That's it. Now I can lay on my bed and rest without nerves? Guys, do you think we're being tough on this girl? Or is that the way to treat her? Write in the comments your opinion. We are very interested to know. I guess that's it now. We can go to bed. Where do I sleep, Daddy? You never showed me my room. Oh my God, no. This can't be happening. Mikey, she's here again. She came into our house again somehow. Why are you yelling so loud? He'll wake up. This can't be real. JJ, what are you yelling about? What's wrong? Can't you see that? Oh, no. She was in my room again in some unknown way. It can't be. I mean, we put her in a cab far away from here. As you can see, she's back here again. What are we supposed to do with her now, JJ? Please don't kick me out. It's already dark outside. I'm afraid of the dark. Okay. All right. I got it. We won't kick you out. It really is nighttime outside. You can stay here and sleep. We'll figure something out with you tomorrow, JJ. Okay, I agree with you. Let her stay. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Where do I sleep? Let's go. We'll take you to your room. Let her stay with us for one night, and tomorrow we'll come up with a plan after which she won't even be able to be in the city. This is my personal room. This is Mikey and I's old nursery. But tonight you're gonna sleep here. It's been a long time since I've been here. Nostalgia came over me. All these toys. We used to play with all these things. Now you can use it all. Thank you so much, parents. You're very kind. You're welcome. Use whatever you want. We're going to bed. Just don't break anything, especially the TV. It's expensive. Bye. So, Mikey, what's your plan for tomorrow? How are we going to get rid of her? To be honest, I don't quite know how exactly yet. I do have a plan, though, but it's super expensive and it's also super reliable. Then you'll tell it to me tomorrow. I'll be sure to tell you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Mikey. Now I'm sure no one will stop me from going to bed. I'm so tired of that girl. I hope it all works out tomorrow. The next day. Here comes the long-awaited day. The day of the grand plan. We'll take her to the island on this yacht. She'll never get off. The boat looks gorgeous, Mikey. Everything's going according to plan. Check it out. The girl's already jumping all over that boat. Mom and Dad, come here to me. My God, when did she get in there? Maybe it's not human? I don't know. But I want to get rid of her soon. She's starting to scare me. Don't worry. Now we'll take her back and our suffering will be over once and for all. That's great. Then let's hurry up and get going. Take her so far away she won't even know where she is. I really hope it all works out. I'll go crazy if she comes back after all this. Let's go tell her we're going on a trip. She will now be on the journey forever. Hey, girl, we're coming to you. Hi, are you ready for an exciting journey? We're all going together. Yes, I really do. That's great. Then come upstairs and we'll go on a trip around the world. I'm on my way. What a good mood I'm in. I can't wait to be free. And most importantly, get peace and tranquility. She has no idea what's in store for her. She's really thinking about traveling. Hee hee hee. Three hours later. Here we are, finally arriving at the island. There's no way she's getting out of here. So, JJ, you ready to do this? Are you ready to be a free man? Of course I'm ready. Mom, Dad, what's this island? This is your new home, girl. You're going to live here now. What? I'm going to live here alone? Of course you're alone, not with us. Did you really think we were your family? Just go to your new home. We should get going. Why did you do that? Goodbye. We'll never see each other again. 
Live here for the rest of your life. Have fun and do whatever you want. Stop, don't do that. Let's go, Mikey, before she ends up back on our boat. The plan went perfectly. We did it. Now we can sail back home, finally. Hurry up, hurry up. Go, go, go. Mommy and Daddy left me here alone. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to live here? Hey girl, who are you? Am I just imagining it? Whose voice was that? Who called me? Who are you? I've lived here for a long time. How did you end up here? Who the hell are you? I came on a boat with my parents. They said it was a trip, but really they just left me here. Don't hurt me. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't worry, you have a new family now. It's us. Cool, I'm really excited. I missed having a real family. I'm glad to be one family with you on this island. Thank you. Two hours later. Finally, we got rid of the Amphow. This house is ours now. This has always been our home until this annoying little girl came here. We won't let anyone else in here anymore. Let them live on the street. We don't want any more guests. Yes, JJ. Oh my God, who are they? What are they doing here? What the horror is going on here? Now we live here. Ha ha ha. Get out of here. I didn't let them in here. And who put them in our house? I did it. They are my friends and they had nowhere to live. So I let them spend the night in our house. Really cool. Mom, Dad, you don't mind, do you? We are against it. Oh my God, Mikey, what should we do? Um, I don't know. I have no words. Now we have a dorm at home. It's time to burn down our house. Yay, hi everybody. I'm in a great mood today, aren't you? Hey! Mikey and I are having a great time outside today. Yes, I especially love that we're walking on this playground today. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. Oh, JJ, we haven't seen any skibbity toilets in so long, by the way. Yes, it's true. Come on, we gotta go. But at the same time, we have many different situations arising. Hmm. Well, I'm talking about going on vacation. Let's go to the side of the house and talk about it. Mikey, it sounds to me like we've been living more peacefully. Well... Although there are fewer skibbity toilets, it's true. That sounds suspicious to me. Why is that suspicious? Explain it to me. Well, that's because the sky is blue, okay? Uh, no, not okay. I don't get it. Oh, huh? I'll tell our parents you're not telling me something. Calm down, JJ. I'm not hiding anything. Uh, what is that? Uh... JJ, look over there. There's some kind of weird gun over there. Oh, my God. Hmm. Uh, Mikey, it's kind of just garbage. JJ, I can see that this gun is unusual. Really? Yeah, I've never even seen one of those in a book. Oh, and this thing is a little heavy. Wow. Huh, Mikey, why don't we try shooting this gun? Well, it can be dangerous, but also a lot of fun at the same time. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Let's stand back and shoot. I even know the right place. Oh, uh, what? There's an abandoned building. Shoot it. Wow, we're lucky no one lives here. Yeah, lucky us. All right, Mikey, you ready? Oh, yeah. Attack! <gasps> oh, Mikey, I don't get it. Hmm. What kind of gun is that? Uh, well, by the looks of it, it's a portal gun. Is it weird that I want to go in there? Yeah, JJ, it's weird. But Mikey... But I want to do the same thing you do. Oh! So let's do it. Uh, go, JJ. Mikey, wait. Oh, what if it's dangerous? I didn't think of that at all. Ah, where am I? Uh, where's Mikey? Look out, Mikey's coming. Oh, why'd you come out after me? Wow, JJ. It's a pretty weird place. Hmm. I'm not comfortable here. Okay, JJ, let's explore around here a bit. Yeah, I'd hate to miss this opportunity. And then we'll go straight home. Hmm, okay. Run, huh? Run. You guys are in the wrong place. Because this place is going to be nothing but misery. I'll take care of that. The longer you stay here, huh? The worse it gets for you. I will take over your house and destroy everything you all hold dear. ha <laughs> ha. Okay, Mikey, I'm getting a little tired of looking around already. Let me go dig up some ore. Uh, JJ, where did you even get the idea that there might be ores here? I'm just sure of it. Oh, hmm. If you're scared, you'd better wait for me here. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Okay, JJ. I'll dig up a mountain of ore. JJ, take care of yourself and be sure to get back out there soon. Sure, Mikey, before you know it, I'll be back here. Now it's time to explore this gravel deserted place. These mountains are huge. Oh, hmm, this is about to be the most boring wait time of my life. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Stop. What? Don't worry. I'll just get rid of your brother and your whole family. Wait, who are you? You don't need to know that. But I'll tell you anyway. Mm. I'm you. What? Bye-bye. I almost feel sorry for you. Because thanks to you, I can get out into your world and do evil. Wahaha. <laughs> and no one will even realize the change because I could be you. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I found it. I was able to find some unusual ore. I can already imagine Mikey's surprised face when he sees these jewels I dug up here. Mikey, listen, I want to show you, uh, Mikey? Oh, you're back, my brother, JJ. Uh... I've been waiting for you for so long. I'm glad you made it back. Mikey, you're acting weird. Did you find something in those mountains of gravel? Uh... Because I was bored to death when you weren't here. Yes, it's very difficult to walk around here. How boring it was. You must be tired. If you're done exploring this place, let's hurry back home. Okay, look what I found, by the way. This is really cool stuff, JJ. Uh, uh, but I'm really tired. Let's go home. Uh, okay. I don't know what's wrong with Mikey, but okay. Oh, this place looks quite familiar. 
Mikey, do you recognize this place? Of course I recognize this place. It's our home. A what? This huge castle, our home. Yay! Wow, marvelous. Yeah, I can't believe it myself. Wow, Mikey. It's pretty dark already. I hope our parents aren't too worried about it. Oh, us. well, it still feels like it's not my house at all. Is that weird? Mm, interesting, interesting. You don't get that feeling? No, brother. I don't smell anything. I'll kill you. Wait, what? Well, Are you sure you're feeling okay? What's up? Mikey, I just heard you say something awful. No, I didn't say anything like that. You must have imagined it. Hmm. Let's not wait for our parents to argue and go inside. Uh, okay. But Mikey, I'm begging you, please don't play me like that again. Sure, bro. Oh my god, I don't remember anything here. Uh, mom and dad, hi. He had a huge head of, uh, oh, my little boys came home from a walk. Yeah. We walked here and there. It was a bit boring. Uh, wow, you must be tired. Wow, look at the time. Oh. It's so late. It's past your bedtime. I didn't realize it was getting dark. Oh, hmm. It's okay. You're here. It's okay. Yes, so go to bed quietly. Good night. All right, Mikey. Let's go to bed, huh? Yes, I'm very tired. Really, let's go. We, we wish, wish you a good night. night. Your room is upstairs. Oh, my God. Mikey, did our parents seem weird to you? I mean, we see them so loving and caring for us every day. That's true, but Mikey. It's okay, bro. I, for one, have absolutely no recollection of our rooms being on the second floor of such a mansion. JJ, it's always been this way, and if you don't stop pissing me off, your death will come sooner. What? Uh, I mean, I'll hug you in your sleep. What did you say? What? What's wrong? Don't try to distract me, Mikey. Why are you doing this? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Huh, what? But in case you forgot, this is my room. <clears throat> and your room is across the hall, so I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, sleep well, brother. See you tomorrow. Hmm, that was really weird. So weird that I don't understand why he calls me brother and not by my first name. Hmm, I don't understand anything. What is this house? Let it all just be a dream and I'll wake up now. Hee hee hee. Good night to those who are asleep, for the good will not last long. There's no one on the right, no one on the left. Who will be my victim from the beginning? <laughs> this series is so interesting. We've been watching this for three hours. So what? Are you sure this is interesting? Yes, of course. I want to watch something else on TV already. <laughs> A painful and horrible death awaits you. You haven't noticed me yet, you fools. But don't worry, your death is incredibly close. <laughs> so what are we going to watch? Let's watch SpongeBob. Not this. I'm a fan. Oh, this cartoon is awful, honey. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no, it's not a dream, it's real! Which is bad because then that evil part of Mikey is real too. Oh no, his room door is open, did he really go for a walk? I don't like this at all! He's really not in his room! I heard someone screaming, it must have been my mom! I have to check what's going on! I'm still not a- uh, oh my god, what was that? They're having some kind of electrical problem! This house is really huge! Uh, there's no one here and there's no one in the kitchen! Hmm, who was yelling then? Oh, mom and dad are fine! Uh, or are they not? Your knuckleheads need to bring me that boy. I want to deal with him personally. Hey, you. Oh, look who I see, huh? Kid? Come to us. We won't hurt you. What have you done to my family? This is your family, little brother. We love you. We will destroy you. No, you're not my real family. What? This is some kind of horror. Oh, my God. No. Ah. I must get out of this house soon and call for help. Hurry up. Hurry up. Ah. How did you all get here? You can't run away from us here. Oh, no. If it's all a joke, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, my God. This is no joke. They've really all gone crazy. I gotta get out of here. Ah! Run, 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 brother. Because we like to catch up. Let's play again, shall we? Stop! You'll never get out of this house. Because everything here is subject to my will. Wait, let's try to make a deal. <laughs> Bye! Holy turtles! JJ! Uh, where am I? Oh, right. I got knocked out by that evil copy of me. This must be his lair. I hope JJ realized that this phony is not me. And I'll be found soon. Our beautiful girl is awake. Uh... Wake up already. I'm tired of waiting. Oh, my God. Now it's time to do something terrible. Do it. He's not going to be one of us. He can't even see where he's going. Wait, don't come near me. <laughs> and where am I going? Uh, I'm going to the cliff. Daddy. You're annoying me. Oh, no. I decided to get rid of you rather than make you my puppet. Be thankful. Mikey, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. You're going to burn. Mikey, we're brothers. How can you do this to your brother? Very simple. I'm not your brother. Finish him. Oh, my God. Is this really the end of me? I don't want to die with dignity. Please have mercy. Bye-bye. No. Ah, God help me. Oh, what is it? Uh, am I alive? Uh, if this is death, it's a very strange one. 
Ahem, it's a lab. JJ! Wait, what? Mikey, is that really you? JJ, I've been locked in here by some evil doppelganger. Hmm. I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I've been sitting here a long time. Mikey, how do I open this, uh, prison? Well, I haven't actually looked for a way out of here yet. You need to find it. But you could try pressing this button on the floor to open the door. Oh, there really was a button here all along. Okay, Mikey, come out. JJ, why did you believe me? Because you call me by my name and that weirdo didn't call me that. Huh. So it turns out we were able to outplay him. Yeah. JJ, look. Huh, what? We're in his personal base, in his lab. Uh. So let's have some fun and break his equipment here. Mikey, no, wait. There's something you don't know. Stop. Our parents are under his control. Oh, hmm. You could have just told me about it instead of hitting me. Okay, I'm sorry. You just started pushing buttons right away, so I flared up. Okay, it happens, JJ. Let's go see what's in here. Let's go. I didn't get a chance to push the brightly colored buttons. Oh, look. He has spacesuits at his disposal. That's cool, but look what's behind you. Hmm. You'd be surprised. Oh, my God. I've never seen a gun like that. What about you, Mikey? Me too. Let's arm ourselves just in case. Yes, I agree. It's going to be a brutal battle. He can't beat us. Uh, We've got some pretty cool weapons now. What if he has guns like that too? You're ruining the brutality of the whole moment, JJ. Mikey, I'm just afraid of losing. We just gotta win, JJ. Oh no. Stop whining. It's gonna be a real battle. Okay, we should be able to handle it because we have each other. Exactly. Let's be careful and enter the next room. Uh, okay. Hmm. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, this is the way out, Mikey. Great, we can get out of here. Let's get going soon. We'll have to figure out how to help our parents. All right, let's go. We'll come up with some plan on the way. Yeah, I wonder where they are now. Ah! JJ, what's wrong? What happened, little brother? Look! <gasps> Did I really scare that fake boy? Am I that scary? You are the scariest, sir. Hurry up and destroy these fakes. I was just about to do that. Whoa, ha, ha. Mikey, is it or is it not time for us to brutally fight? You won't do anything to me. JJ, it's time. Attack! Oh, that was so loud. JJ, well done. That was a good shot. Cool! Mom, Dad, are you okay? Where are we? Mommy and Daddy. I don't know what it is, but we're fine. We were fighting an evil version of Mikey. Yes, it was a brutal battle. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Where are we? You're big young men, boys. Daddy, we're at evil Mikey's base. It's in another dimension. This is just kind of crazy. Yeah, I think so, too. JJ just went bang with a cannon and evil Mikey was gone. Yeah, I had a little fight with him at some mansion before that, too. I wasn't there. Hey everybody, I'm JJ. How do you start your day? Write about it in the comments. I start my day with a game of Minecraft. Playing Minecraft while living in Minecraft. I also watch Spongebob on TV. I would do it all my life. I've started a new game. I need to make a workbench. Whoa, breaking news? Is something wrong? It's usually on when there's an emergency. I should watch it. It's a little scary. Breaking news! Lava rain is expected across our state. Along with the lava rain, there will be a lava tornado. Everyone take shelter now. I say again, take cover. It's life-threatening to stay inside or outside. Bunkers, basements, and sewers are good for shelter. Start looking for cover immediately, otherwise you'll die. Oh my god, what's going on? A lava rain with a lava tornado? I've never seen anything like this before. Looks like the weather is already starting to turn bad. We have to find shelter. I have an old bunker in mind, but I gotta get Mikey there. I don't think he'll have any shelter with his poor house. I need to get him on the phone right away and pick him up before his house burns down from the lava. What a horror. This place is going to burn down. I've got to hurry. It's nice to live without a job. No responsibilities. You just sit back and enjoy yourself. Urgent activation. Everyone, listen up for an emergency alert. It'll save your life. Listen up. What's that? My radio? It will be raining lava all over the state in the near future. After the rain, there will be a lava tornado. Everybody take cover. Find a bunker or a basement. Lava rain? With a tornado? What kind of stupid joke is that? If that's true, my house would burn down in seconds from a thatched roof. I gotta do something. Oh, is someone on the phone for me? Maybe it's some kind of lava rain joke again. But I have to take this. This is all very strange. Hi, who's calling me? Mikey. Hey, it's JJ. Have you heard the emergency? alert yet? Hey, JJ. Yeah, I heard it on the radio. So you know everything. I'm taking you to my bunker. Get ready. I'm coming for you soon. So it's true. Okay, thank you. I'll get my stuff. Okay, I'll be right there. Bye, Mikey. Friends, have you ever seen a tornado? I wouldn't want to be inside one. Write about it in the comments. And I have to go to Mikey's right now. Oh, I think it'll take me too long to walk. I don't want to get wet. It's a good thing I have a red Ferrari. It'll get me to Mikey's house in no time. Okay, let's go. It would be bad if I got caught in the lava rain on the way. I don't think the roof of a Ferrari can withstand lava. I wonder what would happen if I threw my Ferrari into the hot lava. Would it melt? I'll have to do an experiment. And there's Mikey's house. He still hasn't gotten a job or moved out of this poor and scary house. We have to hurry to the bunker. This rain is starting to get warmer and warmer. It's gonna be lava soon. I wonder how long a person will live if he is thrown into lava. All right, Mikey, open up. I'm here, where he's got the bell. Mikey, come out. We don't have much time. Hurry up. Mikey, soon lava will pour from the sky. Come out. Here I am. Hey, JJ, I've been packing up my stuff. Two suitcases full. What's in your suitcase? Oh, I have 
have all my toys in there. I really need them. Mikey, are you crazy? Toys aren't necessary for survival. No, JJ, I need them. I calm down by playing with them. I can't live without them. I don't have any other things. Okay, whatever. Let's put them in my trunk. Okay, thank you very much, JJ. Actually, I thought it was a lava rain joke. But after you called, I realized it was serious. Thanks for inviting me to your bunker. You're my friend, Mikey. I have to save you. Oh, that's great. Can I drive? I've never ridden in a car like this before. No, that's my car. You can't even drive. Okay, whatever. Oh, my God. Guys, what would you take with you to the bunker? Not toys, I hope. Write about it in the comments. Let's go. JJ, I think I left a couple toys at my house. We should go back and get them. It's very important. No, Mikey. We don't have time for your toys. There's lava coming out of the sky any second, and all you talk about is toys. Okay, okay. You're being so strict today. How did you know about the bunker? My dad built it. He was afraid the Skibidi toilets would look for him. It's his secret base. We're already close to that bunker. That's cool. It's a long way away. That's it, Mikey. We're here. JJ, but there's nothing here. Just an abandoned van. Maybe you forgot where the bunker is. No, Mikey. The bunker is very well camouflaged, so it won't be found by the Skibidi toilets. It's not that easy, Mikey. The bunker is located behind this van. All we have to do is pull this lever and the door inside the bunker will open. Wow, that's cool. Come on, open the bunker already. Okay, it's gonna take a while. See? The van's pulling away. It serves as a door. It's so discreet. Unbelievable. Your dad must have been really cool. And behind this hatch is the bunker where we'll wait out the lava rain. It's safe there. We're definitely staying alive, Mikey. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, go get your bags and let's go inside. Yes, of course. My toys are very important. I can't go a day without them. Yeah, go ahead and get in. Nah, JJ, you go first. All right, whatever. Close the top hatch behind you. The last time I was here was when my dad showed me this bunker when I was a kid. Okay, I'm down. Where do we go from here, JJ? Move on through that door. There are lots of rooms, a ventilation system, lots of food. It's like an apartment. So much space. Where's my room? Your room? You can stay in this one. You can make yourself comfortable. We're here for the long haul. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to live underground. JJ, it's so nice here. Even better than my last house. My roof leaked all the time because of the thatch. Thank you again for taking care of me. Mikey, you're my friend. Friends are supposed to help each other out. And the bed is so soft. JJ, you're the best friend I've ever had. Yeah, I know. Okay, Mikey, I'm gonna go to my room. Good night, Mikey. Good night, JJ. Oh, he seemed to like it here. I'm happy for him. It's time for me to show you my room. I've got lockers, a TV, and a bed. Everything I need. How would you guys like to live underground in a bunker? It's so cozy, you know? Write about it in the comments. six days later. Viewers, I have exciting news. I heard on TV that the tornado is over. I have to tell Mikey about it right now. It's been a while. I wonder what he's doing now. Hey, Mikey, it's JJ. Open the door. Come on in. Okay, I'm going in. Mikey, did you, you hear that? You are such a cool and beautiful pony. I love you so much. Uh. Oh, JJ. Mikey, really? Well. You're playing with the ponies now that there's a tornado? Yeah, well, I can have a lot of fun here in the bunker. Oh. Would you like to try to play together? Yes, but later. Yay. They're saying on TV that the fire tornado is over. What? We can go outside. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Let's go. Oh, hmm. I think my pink pony can wait. Hmm. So let's go see what's going on outside. I wonder if our houses survived. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Mikey, why don't we not go? I'm a little scared. Don't worry, you have me and I'm not afraid of anything. Let's go. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. I'll be as brave as you. I can't hear the sound of the wind. And I see clear blue skies. That's great news. Oh, didn't you leave the car outside? Oh, yeah. Are you sure the car's okay? Yeah, it's great. JJ, look at how great the weather is today. Yeah, it's perfect. I didn't even expect this to be possible after the tornado. Yeah, Mikey, it's like a miracle. Your car is fine. I'm glad it all turned out okay. I'm excited too. Let's go to our houses. Yeah, it's time to go. I hope our houses weren't too badly damaged. Otherwise, it's a bummer. JJ, why is your car so slow? Uh, Let's speed up. Mikey, this car has been sitting idle for a little over a week. And... That doesn't justify your car in any way. Understandably, it will be slow at first. Okay, let's not argue about it. Uh, Mikey, where's your house? <gasps> that pile of dirt doesn't look like your house at all. No way! Oh my god. Mikey, I'm so sorry this happened to your house. I can only imagine how hard it must be. Thank you, JJ. It's really awful. All the memories, things, gone. I understand. JJ, how could you do this? Oh! My house is completely destroyed. You and I are friends, and I'm always here to help. What am I supposed to do? Maybe you could move in with me while your house is being fixed. What 
a disaster. We'll find a solution together. You're such a true friend, JJ. Hmm. Thanks for the offer. What's the bottom line? So I'm in. All right, let's get in the car. I would really have to find a temporary place to live. That's right. It's nice to have a friend like me. Yeah, it'd be hard without... You too, Mikey. Let's hurry up and get to my house. JJ, I was thinking, what if your house is destroyed too? Well, it just can't be. Wait, why? My home is made of durable okay, materials. Okay. Holy turtles, JJ. Well, no, it just couldn't happen. I don't believe it. How could it? Oh my God, JJ. It's kind of crazy. My house is gone too. Wow. It's a piece of burnt pie, not a house. JJ, are you okay? Mikey, my house, it burned down and I don't know what to do. Everything I had. Maybe there's something still intact in there. Are you kidding me? No, I'm trying to think positive. You see the state of my house. Hmm. Where are we gonna live now? Well. Oh my God, my belongings, my comfort, my kitchen, all gone. I got nothing now, Mikey. Oh, hmm. Everything I had is on fire now. My house burned down and your house burned down. What could be worse? No, Mikey, it can't get any worse than this. Well. Look where my pool is. This place is such a mess that I don't even realize where your pool was. It was not far from the kitchen. Oh, hmm. And the kitchen isn't in the best condition right now either. It's all incredibly sad. Mikey, I don't know what to do now. I have an idea. What, you got an idea? How about we sell your car and buy a house together? Mikey, that sounds like a good plan. We can get through this together like real friends. We're always together and that would be great. Then let's talk about what kind of house we'd like. Yeah. Do you prefer red or green? Red, of course. Ooh. After all, we already have a red Ferrari. That would be perfect. But we're going to sell it. Maybe a greenhouse then. All right, we'll figure something out. Out. Yay! So, Mikey, how would you rate our house? Oh, hmm. Isn't that cool? JJ, our house is absolutely stunning. Yeah. That green and red color scheme is exactly what we like. Yeah, Mikey, the house came out just perfect. Let's hurry up and get inside. Hurry up, hurry up. I can't wait to look around the house. So open the doors. <gasps> look at this hallway. Just a minute. I'll close the door. Wow. Oh, my God. This looks so gorgeous. I never thought we would have such a beautiful dining room. Oh. And this kitchen is a dream come true. Cool. I'm thrilled. We can cook so many things here. Let's move on. Yeah, let's see what else is here. Wow, this is the living room with the TV. Whoa, Mikey, we're gonna play. JJ, it's been a dream of mine to get a TV. There's a video game console. We're gonna play together. I saw there was a staircase to the second floor. Yes, and as I recall, that's where our private rooms are. Is my room green? Yes, of course, just the way you like it. <laughs> it would be weird otherwise. Oh, hmm. Mikey, are you expecting someone? No, I'm not expecting anyone. Uh, who's there? Hello. Hey. I'm with the insurance company. Hello. I'm here to pay you compensation for your broken home, Mr. JJ. Wow, compensation? I'm surprised those amounts exist but here are your diamonds. Oh my gosh, I even forgot I had my house covered by insurance already. Awesome. Wow. Thank you so much. You have been a great help to us. There, that's your eight stacks of diamonds. Oh, and don't thank me. It's my job. Cool. Have a nice day. Thank you, and you have a good day too. Goodbye. JJ, who was that? It's the insurance guy. Cool. You had money for insurance. Mikey, we're on equal footing now, so I'll give you half of all my diamonds. <gasps> JJ, I'm so glad you appreciate me so much. You're welcome, Mikey. Thank you so much for treating me like this. Mikey, you're my friend. Of course I appreciate appreciate you. I'm very happy to be able to live with you in such a big house without worrying about money. Yeah. Oh, Mikey, where are you going? JJ, let's go back to the bunker. I want to get my toys. Oh, well, we'll do that. But first, I want to... Hey, everyone. Mikey and I are going to go play soccer on the playground today. All right, Mikey. You ready to play? Of course I am. Look at that ball. Let's start playing already. With such a great ball, you can become a pro soccer player. Get in there, JJ. We'll kick the ball to each other. That's great. Let's see how professional you are. Are you doubting me? I'm gonna kick you so hard you'll never catch it. Or should I take pity on you and hit you less hard? Kick it already. You talk too much for a professional. Catch, JJ. The ball's coming your way. And that's what you call a punch? Now you catch. How'd you like my shot? Well, you could have hit it better. Now I'm gonna hit harder. Well, let's see. Yeah, Mikey. I thought you were better than that. You hit like a girl yourself. But you make fun of me. Let's not fight. Let's just play soccer. I was just trying to spice up our game. But okay, let's just play. Watch me hit the ball. Wow, he's jumping. Nice, JJ, nice shot. I want to try to hit as well as you. Where are you, kids? I'm coming to you. Oh, looks like we won't be playing anymore. There you are. Come here, stop kicking the ball. What's wrong, Dad? Now I'm going to show you my little surprise. Come inside, you'll be glad you did. Whoa, what's in there, Dad? Could this be a new computer? Or a new scooter? Let's go inside and find out. 
You'll never guess. Okay, Dad, we'll be right there. So, Mikey, what do you think Daddy has planned for us? What do you have in mind? Let's go quickly and find out. But I think it's a new scooter for us. We've been asking for one for a long time. Maybe it is a computer after all. We told Dad about it a long time ago. Longer than the scooter. Well, then let's go find out. I'd be happy with either of those two things. Me too. Then open the doors and let's go find out. Here come the parents. They sure bought us something. Come on, JJ. I want to know soon. Hi, Mom and Dad. We're here. Hey, guys. We've prepared an interesting surprise for you. We're sure you'll love it. It's very unusual. Usual. Well, what is it? Just say it. It's a ticket to a big trip. You'll be traveling together for the whole summer. You'll have fun. What about a scooter or a computer? We thought you were talking about that surprise. Aren't you guys excited about our surprise? Isn't that a bad gift? No, Mom, it's okay. We love it. It's a wonderful surprise. Thank you so much. We are excited to go on a big trip. That's good. We knew you would appreciate it. I told you traveling was great. A computer would have been better, though. Come on, then. Go pack your bags and you'll be traveling today. Be sure to let me know later if you liked it. Well, shall we go pack? Yes, you have a flight coming up. Then we'll go to our room. We need to figure out what we're going to take with us. That's right. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Good luck to you. Even though it's not what we wanted, it should be a lot lot of fun too. That's what I thought too. We'll get more emotion out of it than a scooter or a computer. Will we be bringing toys, Mikey? There's too many of them, but I think we can take a couple. The main thing is to choose what things to take with you. We have a lot of them, so you only need to take everything you need. It's true. I don't think we have enough room to bring toys with so much stuff too. Hurry up and get your stuff or we're gonna miss our plane. Yeah, we gotta get ready. Otherwise, we'll be left without any surprise at all. Three hours later. And here we are on our way to our plane. Yeah, that's our plane over there. They decided to give us a ride there in this little bus. There's nothing else to do. Let's go say goodbye to our parents. Come on, they're probably out there waiting for us. And there they are standing over there. Hey, Mikey, JJ, come here. The plane's leaving soon. All right, Mikey, let's get to traveling. It's about time we did this, JJ. I've been dreaming of a vacation for a long time, you know. You're finally here. It took you so long to get here. We just wanted to ride the bus. And we're going to fly in this wreck? I don't feel like going in there anymore. We paid money for your trip. But we didn't want to go to that place. Bye, kids. Have a good rest. Bye-bye. Don't come back. Bye, Mom, Dad. We'll miss you. Who are you lying to? You never miss anyone. That's just to be polite, Mikey. You don't know anything about that. Let's get to our seats on the plane. I don't think this wreck will fly all the way. We'll hope for the best, Mikey. I just wish they served hot burgers for lunch on the airplane. Mikey, all you want to do is eat. Hello, passengers. Welcome aboard the Godspeed. Uh, that's a strange name for an airplane? Whatever the airplane. Whatever the name. Stop whining. Okay, okay, okay. As long as the plane survives the flight. Come on, I'll show you your passenger seats. Oh my god, there are so many people here. Here are your plastic chairs. Please sit down. Aren't airplanes supposed to have normal seats? No, of course not. You bought too cheap a ticket in economy class. Why aren't we flying premium class? Be thankful we're sitting and not standing on an airplane. But there are televisions here. We can watch Star Wars here. Ladies and gentlemen, please buckle up. Wow, we're taking off in the air already. I'm a little scared. I'm scared too, but if we fall, it'll be while watching a cool movie. I'll have a better view outside my window. Okay, whatever you want. I'm gonna get some sleep. You know, I was supposed to have the day off today. Buddy, but you're already at work. I don't care at all. I'm gonna break something and fly back home. No, don't do it. Too late. I don't care about anything. It's my legal weekend. I'm gonna parachute home. You're a complete idiot. Everyone's gonna crash on that plane. Oh my god, what's going on? Our plane's going down, JJ. What makes you say that? Everyone around here is calm. Oh my god, our engine's on fire. Oh god, I don't want to end my life like this. We're all gonna fall. Pay attention. Nobody panic. We still have another engine. It's okay. I'm asking everyone to stay where they are. We're gonna fix that engine soon. I repeat. Do not panic. I'm already panicking. JJ, what do we do? I don't want to die. Do something. You're the older brother. What am I supposed to do? Should I go fix the engine? Are you crazy? We're going down, JJ. Fix the engine faster. How am I going to fix it for you? Oh, my God. My butt hurts so bad. Good thing I landed right on top of it. Okay, where did I land? Some weird beach? Some weird water? Mikey's still out. He's a big sleeper. Wake up now, Mikey. Get up. We survived. Mikey, I need you. Rise and shine, Mikey. Uh, what? Who called me? I called you. We're on some kind of island. I noticed that, but it's not that kind of island. It's too hot in here for some reason. I think I know why it's warm in here. And why is that? Because it's not water, JJ. What's that then? This is lava, not water. We're on an island. 
island around a lava ocean. Oh my god, you're right. How are we supposed to get out of here? I don't know. If we swim in it, we'll be completely fried. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Just don't cry, please. Do I have to make you feel better again? Though you could dry up that ocean of lava with your tears. JJ, we're not alone on this island. What? Who's that? Men, we got boys on the island. That's so cool. Um, I don't like this. Me too, JJ. Let's get to know each other, gentlemen. Hello, my name is Mikey. My name is JJ. We fell out of an airplane. We need help. How beautiful they are. We'll help you. Don't doubt it. How cute and beautiful you both are. It's an island of women. Oh my god, we're out of luck. You're very lucky to have come to us. It's really bad. And it's not going anywhere yet. Don't worry about it. We'll let you into one of our cottages. We would do anything for such handsome boys. I love them both already. I would be their mommy forever. They're all out of their minds. I've already noticed that, JJ. Hee <laughs> they are so funny. I love them. Let's go settle them on our island. Follow us, handsome boys. That's what my mom used to say to me. But these aren't our moms. Come on with us. You know, we could use it, though. Live here like kings. I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, don't be scared. What if they eat us? You've been watching horror movies on TV again, JJ. That's not what normal people do. Girls, where are we going to put these boys? Any house at all. Any home they want. Any house? Hmm, that's something to think about. I want to live in the best house on the island. Whatever you say, my little prince. Oh, and it's already nightfall. It's bedtime. We urgently need sleep after such a hard day. Well, then this is the right house for you. Come with us, my sweeties. Oh, how very hospitable of you. And why are you helping us? Because we haven't had men on the island in a long time. We're still kids. What kind of men are we? Very handsome men. You are very nice ladies, too. Oh, that's so sweet. He's so good. We're lucky to have you. Please make yourself at home. That's cool. Now we have our own house. Good night, our favorite men. Hope you enjoyed your stay with us. All right, girls. Follow me. We've got a lot to do tonight. Good night, all of you. Thanks again for everything. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... I'd sleep with you two, but we really have a lot to do. Good night, my darlings. See how lucky we are. We have them under our command. They'll carry food and scout us around the clock. Yeah, I agree. That's not a bad house they gave us. I guess our parents had a smaller house. It's not the presidential palace, but it'll do. Time to go to bed, JJ. Okay, let's go to bed. I'm so tired from today. Are you planning on leaving this island? No, of course not. It's cool. And there's our minions. It's also got comfy beds. Oh yeah, the beds here are great. I still don't trust them, Mikey. Uh-huh. What's wrong with them? They're wonderful and beautiful girls. Okay, let's settle this tomorrow. Good night. Good night, JJ. Huh, he fell asleep so fast. He must be as tired as me. Not a bad day. Oh, what's that noise outside our house? Mikey didn't even move from those sounds. And then we'll sacrifice them, all for our gods of this island. Uh, what? I didn't hear that? Maybe those girls next to me are talking about something. I should check it out. Although, maybe it's some wild animals lurking behind our house. It's scary to come out here at night. We'll tie them up. What? They're definitely girls. They're right around the corner. They'll wake up in the morning and find themselves tied up right over the fire. Oh, for the god of this island. Then he'll give us more men. I can't wait to kill our guests right now. Be patient, my friend. The morning will soon come and we'll do our thing. Oh my god, are they trying to kill us? Why don't I stab them with my knife? What? They're all crazy. We should run away from here. Why do we have to wait until morning? We can kill them right now. No, for the ritual, it has to be done in the sunlight. We must wait. That's great. Mikey and I still have time to get off this island. I gotta wake him up first. That's just awful. They pretended to love us on purpose. Mikey, get up. We're in grave danger. They're trying to kill us. Get up. Stop sleeping. Mikey, it's time to get out of here. Wake up. This is no time to rest. Ouch, what happened? Why are you waking me up? Those sick women are trying to kill us. We've got to get off this island as fast as we can. Uh, why would they want to kill us? They like us. They love us. I don't know. They want to do some kind of ritual and then kill us as a sacrifice to some gods on this island. Oh my god. Then we've got to get out of here before they come after us. Where was the last place they were? They were over there behind the wall. We should get out of the house quietly and unnoticed. Okay, keep your eyes open, JJ. They could be waiting for us anywhere. I'm always on the lookout, Mikey. I think they've already gone to their cabins. Then we ran to the beach. Let's go. Escape from the island begins. I almost believe them. Oh my god. I like them so much. I really didn't want to go home. Who knew it was an island of maniacs? Uh, how do we get out of here? There's lava all around. I completely forgot about that. I don't know. We have to figure something out. Maybe build some kind of ship. Oh, I have an idea. What kind of idea? We're gonna build a raft. And we'll get the planks from that palm tree over there, JJ. And on that raft, we're gonna get off this island. Won't this wooden raft burn up in the lava? Uh, 
I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's no other plan. Break the tree, JJ. There goes our mega salvage ship. This boat will take us home. Uh, it's a whole trough, Mikey. We're not gonna get very far on it. If you have another plan, it's too late. Passengers, I invite you all to our cruise ship. Yeah, a cruise ship. That's funny. Oh my god, JJ, those maniacs spotted us. Hey, stop right there. You're not getting off our island. We're not gonna let you do that. We've gotta stop them, girls. Wait for us. We need to talk to you. Don't swim away from us. Mikey, it's time to get off this island right now. Otherwise, they'll kill us both. Get on the raft. Hurry up. Stop, please. Come back back here. You liked it here. We'll be friends. Yeah, we'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> I was kidding. No one will ever come to visit you again, you stupid maniacs. Let's swim home, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. They're so stupid. We just outsmarted them so easily. You'll be back here again, you stupid men. Hee hee hee, dumb women. Men are always smarter than... Hey, hello, everybody. You know what my name is? My name is JJ. Oh, my God. Everybody knows your name. You're in every video on our channel. Yeah, I'm a popular guy. Are you popular? I'm a hundred times more popular and better than you. Stop talking nonsense. No one would know the difference if you were removed from our videos. That's not true. Our viewers love me more. Okay, I'm bored with this discussion already. Let's go home and play computer games. I'd play the new GTA 6 if you don't mind. JJ, did you forget? We have a very old and weak computer. We need to buy a new one. And where do you propose to find the money for a new computer? I don't know. Ask mom and dad like we always did. We can try. I just need to find out the prices of new computers. Oh, I think we almost passed the right store. The store? There aren't any stores around here. JJ, are you blind? There's a computer store right in front of you. Oh, that's just what we need. Look at those beautiful monitors. And what a nice backlit computer. Oh my god, I want it. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to this handsome guy, but it's too expensive for our parents. How much does it cost? A whole stack of diamonds. That's a lot of money, Mikey. Oh, and we need monitors too. What are we gonna do? What's there to guess? My mom will definitely give me a lot of money. Why would she give you money? Because I'm the favorite child in the family. Did you forget that? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go. Recently, my mom gave me like a hundred diamonds for my shopping. Oh my God, Mikey. You could have bought us that computer a long time ago. I lost all that money at the casino. My mom will give me more money. Don't worry. Our parents are right at home. Why did you give all the money to Mikey? We're not that rich. They're just talking about you. Because they love me. Hey, they love me too. Hey mom, can I have some money? Money, please? Yes, of course. Stop right there. Stop giving him all the money. How do you even spend it? We want to buy a new super duper mega powerful gaming computer. That must be a very expensive purchase, Mikey. Nobody's gonna give you any money. You two little spenders. But mom, dad, I love you guys. Do you love me? No, 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 no. That trick won't work again. Ha 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 ha, Mikey. Your plan didn't work. Now we won't give them any money. Uh, what do you mean no money? No money at all? Yeah, not one dollar. You already have a computer. You don't need another one. Oh my god, this is really bad news. How are we supposed to live without a new computer? You didn't talk them down, Mikey. They've got a lot of nerve. I'm the only one in the family who works. We don't have much money. Yeah, our parents have become poor on your wants, Mikey. I thought they were super rich. We should have taken advantage of that while we could. Yeah, we're not going to get a new computer now. We need to come up with some new plan. That computer has to be ours. Uh, what if we steal this computer? It's just like in all those movies about thieves. Isn't that dangerous? It looks very simple in the cartoon. Uh, it's kind of scary. Don't be afraid. Although we can get a new computer for free. Without paying a cent. Good plan, JJ. I'm in. We're gonna be real robbers, Mikey. We need a really cool and clever plan to steal that computer. We'll do it tonight, Mikey. We'll do it quietly and quickly. No one will notice us. Solid plan, JJ. Solid as a Swiss watch. Yeah. <laughs> And here comes the night. Time to go out and rob the store. It's been dark outside for a long time. It's time to go outside. Why do the robberies happen at night? Because no one can see you at night, Mikey. That's a stupid question coming from you. Uh-oh, I think our parents are still awake. Why are they still watching TV? SpongeBob is an unreal cool guy. They're watching cartoons, just like little kids. We can sneak outside. Just don't make any noise and don't shout loudly. Okay, okay, just don't scream yourself. SpongeBob looks so much like like me, just as fun and interesting. Yes, darling, you are my grown up and big SpongeBob. Hee hee hee. They don't even care about us. I'd be watching cartoons right now, too. The computer's cooler, JJ. Watch cartoons for toddlers or for old people like our parents. Mikey, you watched 10 hours of cartoons last night without stopping. I was a toddler then. Now I'm a grown up thief on a mission. What a ridiculous excuse, Mikey. It doesn't matter. Let's go rob a store already, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. I already want to play cool new games on that computer. Hey, we're both going to play on 
on this computer. There's that store. Gotta make it quick and run home with the computer. Here's our handsome boy. I agree. It's unrealistically beautiful and cool. All right. You watch the corner so no one sees us. I'll go to the store. All right. Not a mouse is gonna get past me. I'll see anyone who can get in our way. No one's here, Mikey. We're good to go. And there's a locked door. What do I do? Oh, really? We didn't think of that. We need to come up with a new plan. I have an idea. You run up and break that glass with your head. You're still brainless. I'm gonna punch you for saying that. It's not bad for you. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna get a boost. Come on! Hey, how? <laughs> You're so hard-headed. Let's get the monitors and computers. Then I'll play first for a whole week because I've done the hardest work here. Okay, okay, okay. Hurry up already. Someone might see the two of us in here. It's not that easy, you know. Faster! Stop whining! It feels so good to touch it with your hands. You would know that. Did you do that on purpose? Hurry up! I don't like it anymore. Yeah, you're so funny when you're angry, JJ. I got everything we need. We can go home now. We have to make it before our parents notice us. Oh my god, what is that sound? Looks like the alarm went off. The police are coming here right now. We have to run away now. We need to hide around the corner. You don't want to stand right in front of a broken storefront. I think I can hear a police car already. I'm so scared. Here come the cops. We're in big trouble. We need to sit tight so we don't get spotted, Mikey. Okay, who did this? What kind of stupid burglar broke this window? The door to the store was open. Was the door open? We're so stupid. And why is she dressed like a dancer at a strip club? Looks like they stole the computers. The robbers were little kids. That's right. We gotta go, Mikey. She's starting to figure it out. She's so beautiful. Let me look at her for another minute. Are you serious? We have to go. I wonder what they broke the window with. Some kind of small TV? Wake up! We're going to jail if you don't stop staring at her. She has such nice hips. What hips? Are you crazy? Let's go home, you horny idiot. Oh, she's right there. I gotta get out of here. You're finally awake. I'm not going on any more missions with you. Oh, come on. That went super cool. We got the computer. Now we're gonna play all night. Because we're lucky. Your stupidity might have gotten us noticed. It's water-cooled RTX 4060 graphics card with 16 gigabytes of video memory. It's all included. I didn't understand a single word at all. Looks like our parents have gone to bed. That's a good thing. No one will notice us, and we won't be interrupted from playing all night. We're very lucky tonight. It could have gone better if you hadn't been staring at that cop. You saw how beautiful she was. I haven't seen such attractive girls in a long time. What girls? You're six years old, Mikey. I'm an adult in my head. It doesn't matter. Time to play new and cool games on our computer. It's so big. You know what else I got big? These monitors. Oh, I was already thinking about the other big thing, Mikey. What you were thinking? Say it to my face. About your big brainless head, Mikey. I won't even take offense to you. Look how nice his work is. Yes, it's so colorful and flashing. You can tell it's worth a lot of diamonds. And then there are these monitors. What a clear and pleasing picture. I feel so good sitting at this computer. Go ahead and run all the top games already. Stop licking this computer. I think even the taste of this computer would be very tasty. But we won't be eating it, of course. We can play a game of Minecraft. Okay, why don't we play this game for the thousandth time? What else are we supposed to play? I don't know. Oh my god, this computer is amazing. I could spend my whole life sitting here. How long have we been sitting here? It's morning, Mikey. We've been sitting here all night. That's great. Just the way I wanted to spend the night. You know, I'm a little tired tired already. It's going to be 7 in the morning and we haven't even slept. I don't care at all. Let's keep playing. No, I want to sleep. Oh, who's calling so early in the morning? I don't know. Maybe it's the mailman. The mailman just put the letters in the box and walk away. Let's go see who's been banging on our door. I'm getting scared. Maybe they've come for us? I don't know. Maybe it's just our distant relatives coming to visit. We don't have any such relatives. This is something very bad. Let's just open the door. Hello, can I see your parents? I need to talk to them urgently. Oh my god. God, it's a female police officer. I'm a police officer from the local police department. Get your parents now, kid. They're in our house. Come on in. I wonder why she came to see us. Why are you here? Somebody robbed a computer store near here. I'm canvassing all the neighbors near it. Oh, we didn't do that, by the way. Go call our parents already. Don't worry. They're coming to you now. Hey, Mom, Dad, we got a visitor at the house. He wants to see you. And who's there? It's a police woman. The police? In our house? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, police. What happened? Hello. Good morning. What's wrong? Recently, there was an absolute robbery at a computer store near you. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, well, let's go in the kitchen then. We'll all talk in there together. Whatever you say, ma'am. Let's go in the kitchen. Oh, while you guys are talking, we're going for a walk with Mikey. They're on to something, JJ. Your sons are robbers. We saw them on the cameras. They smashed the window and stole a computer. Oh, my. 
my god, this is awful! Mikey, we gotta get out of here! Looks like we've been burned! Time to go on the run! I don't want to go to jail! I don't want to go there either! Let's get out of here! We can't let them hear us! We shouldn't have committed this crime, JJ! I'm already terribly ashamed of it! Stop right there! The camera showed the green TV man smashing the display case and stealing everything in it! But there was a JJ there too! Were they both there? Mikey, shut up! Don't mess with me! All the crimes were committed by one man. Mikey's the only one to blame. Oh, really? Now that's fair. It's not fair. I don't want to go to jail. He's just a baby. Please don't do this. Yes, let our parents punish us. No, I found the criminal, and it's Mikey. I'm getting handcuffed. Please forgive me. Guys, don't apologize. Let's go to jail, you little criminal. Mikey, I'm gonna write you letters to prison. You're gonna be a real criminal mastermind. Get in the car now, you criminal. Oh my god, my son is a felon. I'm so embarrassed. I don't want to go to jail. I'll be so bad there. This is a disgrace to our family. Stop babysitting him. You can see him in prison. Bye, everybody. Oh, my God. I didn't expect that at all. Yeah, well, Mikey sure did a bad thing. Yes, he's so small. He's in first grade, and now he won't go to school. Also, you were there, too. You're a criminal, too. Hey, but I wasn't arrested. It's not my fault. The cameras showed you were there, too. I didn't expect this from you. Now you'll be grounded for a whole month. Seriously? But I didn't break anything, and I didn't steal it. So you made Mikey do it. He's so good. This is your fault. We'll punish you. Yes, he won't go out for a month. Walking is forbidden. This is a very serious punishment. Wow, cool. Oh, I mean, how sad. If you leave your room, we'll punish you even more. Don't you dare come out of there. You're awful. Isn't that a bit much? Just right, sweetheart. Oh, I'm so sick of not walking. Ha ha. I still have that computer. I'm going to play on it for a month. Now that's the real punishment. I Hey everyone, Mikey and I are going to go play soccer on the playground today. All right, Mikey, you ready to play? Of course I am. Look at that ball. Let's start playing already. With such a great ball, you can become a pro soccer player. Get in there, JJ. We'll kick the ball to each other. That's great. Let's see how professional you are. Are you doubting me? I'm gonna kick you so hard you'll never catch it. Or should I take pity on you and hit you less hard? Kick it already. You talk too much for a professional. Catch, JJ, the ball's coming your way. And that's what you call a punch? Now you catch. How'd you like my shot? Well, you could have hit it better. Now I'm gonna hit harder. Well, let's see. Yeah, Mikey, I thought you were better than that. You hit like a girl yourself. But you make fun of me. Let's not fight. Let's just play soccer. I was just trying to spice up our game. But OK, let's just play. Watch me hit the ball. Wow, he's jumping. Nice, JJ, nice shot. I want to try to hit as well as you. Where are you, kids? I'm coming to you. Oh, looks like we won't be playing anymore. There you are. Come here, stop kicking the ball. What's wrong, Dad? Now I'm going to show you my little surprise. Come inside, you'll be glad you did. Whoa, what's in there, Dad? Could this be a new computer? Or a new scooter? Let's go inside and find out. You'll never guess. Okay, Dad, we'll be right there. So, Mikey, what do you think Daddy has planned for us? What do you have in mind? Let's go quickly and find out. But I think it's a new scooter for us. We've been asking for one for a long time. Maybe it is a computer after all. We told Dad about it a long time ago. Longer than the scooter. Well, then let's go find out. I'd be happy with either of those two things. Me too. Then open the doors and let's go find out. Here come the parents. They sure bought us something. Come on, JJ. I want to know soon. Hi, Mom and Dad. We're here. Hey, guys. We've prepared an interesting surprise for you. We're sure you'll love it. It's very unusual. Well, what is it? Just say it. It's a ticket to a big trip. You'll be traveling together for the whole summer. You'll have fun. What about a scooter or a computer? We thought you were talking about that surprise. Aren't you guys excited about our surprise? Isn't that a bad gift? No, Mom, it's okay. We love it. It's a wonderful surprise. Thank you so much. We are excited to go on a big trip. That's good. We knew you would appreciate it. I told you traveling was great. A computer would have been better, though. Come on, then. Go pack your bags, and you'll be traveling today. Be sure to let me know later if you liked it. Well, shall we go pack? Yes, you have a flight coming up. Then we'll go to our room. We need to figure out what we're going to take with us. That's right. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Good luck to you. Even though it's not what we wanted, it should be a lot lot of fun, too. That's what I thought, too. We'll get more emotion out of it than a scooter or a computer. Will we be bringing toys, Mikey? There's too many of them, but I think we can take a couple. The main thing is to choose what things to take with you. We have a lot of them, so you only need to take everything you need. It's true. I don't think we have enough room to bring toys with so much stuff, too. Hurry up and get your stuff, or we're gonna miss our plane. Yeah, we gotta get ready. Otherwise, we'll be left without any surprise at all. 
Three hours later. And here we are on our way to our plane. Yeah, that's our plane over there. They decided to give us a ride there in this little bus. There's nothing else to do. Let's go say goodbye to our parents. Come on, they're probably out there waiting for us. And there they are standing over there. Hey, Mikey, JJ, come here. The plane's leaving soon. All right, Mikey, let's get to traveling. It's about time we did this, JJ. I've been dreaming of a vacation for a long time, you know. You're finally here. It took you so long to get here. We just wanted to ride the bus. And we're going to fly in this wreck? I don't feel like going in there anymore. We paid money for your trip. But we didn't want to go to that place. Bye, kids. Have a good rest. Bye-bye. Don't come back. Bye, Mom, Dad. We'll miss you. Who are you lying to? You never miss anyone. That's just to be polite, Mikey. You don't know anything about that. Let's get to our seats on the plane. I don't think this wreck will fly all the way. We'll hope for the best, Mikey. I just wish they served hot burgers for lunch on the airplane. Mikey, all you want to do is eat. Hello, passengers. Welcome aboard the Godspeed. Uh, that's a strange name for an airplane? Whatever the airplane. Whatever the name. Stop whining. Okay, okay, okay. As long as the plane survives the flight. Come on, I'll show you your passenger seats. Oh my god, there are so many people here. Here are your plastic chairs. Please sit down. Aren't airplanes supposed to have normal seats? No, of course not. You bought too cheap a ticket in economy class. Why aren't we flying premium class? Be thankful we're sitting and not standing on an airplane. But there are televisions here. We can watch Star Wars here. Ladies and gentlemen, please buckle up. Wow, we're taking off in the air already. I'm a little scared. I'm scared too, but if we fall, it'll be while watching a cool movie. I'll have a better view outside my window. Okay, whatever you want. I'm gonna get some sleep. You know, I was supposed to have the day off today. Buddy, but you're already at work. I don't care at all. I'm gonna break something and fly back home. No, don't do it. Too late. I don't care about anything. It's my legal weekend. I'm going to parachute home. You're a complete idiot. Everyone's going to crash on that plane. Oh my God, what's going on? Our plane's going down, JJ. What makes you say that? Everyone around here is calm. Oh my God, our engine's on fire. Oh God, I don't want to end my life like this. We're all going to fall. Pay attention. Nobody panic. We still have another engine. It's okay. I'm asking everyone to stay where they are. We're going to fix that engine soon. I repeat. Do not panic. I'm already panicking. JJ, what do we do? I don't want to die. Do something. You're the older brother. What am I supposed to do? Should I go fix the engine? Are you crazy? We're going down, JJ. Fix the engine faster. How am I going to fix it for you? Oh, my God. My butt hurts so bad. Good thing I landed right on top of it. Okay, where did I land? Some weird beach? Some weird water? Mikey's still out. He's a big sleeper. Wake up now, Mikey. Get up. We survived. Mikey, I need you. Rise and shine, Mikey. Uh, what? Who called me? I called you. We're on some kind of island. I noticed that, but it's not that kind of island. It's too hot in here for some reason. I think I know why it's warm in here. And why is that? Because it's not water, JJ. What's that then? This is lava, not water. We're on an island island around a lava ocean. Oh my god, you're right. How are we supposed to get out of here? I don't know. If we swim in it, we'll be completely fried. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Just don't cry, please. Do I have to make you feel better again? Though you could dry up that ocean of lava with your tears. JJ, we're not alone on this island. What? Who's that? Men, we got boys on the island. That's so cool. Um, I don't like this. Me too, JJ. Let's get to know each other, gentlemen. Hello, my name is Mikey. My name is JJ. We fell out of an airplane. We need help. How beautiful they are. We'll help you. Don't doubt it. How cute and beautiful you both are. It's an island of women. Oh my God, we're out of luck. You're very lucky to have come to us. It's really bad. And it's not going anywhere yet. Don't worry about it. We'll let you into one of our cottages. We would do anything for such handsome boys. I love them both already. I would be their mommy forever. They're all out of their minds. I've already noticed that, JJ. Hee <laughs> they are so funny. I love them. Let's go settle them on our island. Follow us, handsome boys. That's what my mom used to say to me. But these aren't our moms. Come on with us. You know, we could use it though. Live here like kings. I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, don't be scared. What if they eat us? You've been watching horror movies on TV again, JJ. That's not what normal people do. Girls, where are we gonna put these boys? Any house at all. Any home they want. Any house? Hmm, that's something to think about. I want to live in the best house on the island. Whatever you say, my little prince. Oh, and it's already nightfall. It's bedtime. We urgently need sleep after such a hard day. Well, 
then this is the right house for you. Come with us, my sweeties. Oh, how very hospitable of you. And why are you helping us? Because we haven't had men on the island in a long time. We're still kids. What kind of men are we? Very handsome men. You are very nice ladies, too. Oh, that's so sweet. He's so good. We're lucky to have you. Please make yourself at home. That's cool. Now we have our own house. Good night, our favorite men. Hope you enjoyed your stay with us. All right, girls. Follow me. We've got a lot to do tonight. Good night, all of you. Thanks again for everything. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... I'd sleep with you two, but we really have a lot to do. Good night, my darlings. See how lucky we are. We have them under our command. They'll carry food and scout us around the clock. Yeah, I agree. That's not a bad house they gave us. I guess our parents had a smaller house. It's not the presidential palace, but it'll do. Time to go to bed, JJ. Okay, let's go to bed. I'm so tired from today. Are you planning on leaving this island? No, of course not. It's cool. And there's our minions. It's also got comfy beds. Oh yeah, the beds here are great. Great. I still don't trust them, Mikey. Uh-huh. What's wrong with them? They're wonderful and beautiful girls. Okay, let's settle this tomorrow. Good night. Good night, JJ. Huh, he fell asleep so fast. He must be as tired as me. Not a bad day. Oh, what's that noise outside our house? Mikey didn't even move from those sounds. And then we'll sacrifice them, all for our gods of this island. Uh, what? I didn't hear that? Maybe those girls next to me are talking about something. I should check it out. Although, maybe it's some wild animals lurking behind our house. It's scary to come out here at night. We'll tie them up. What? They're definitely girls. They're right around the corner. They'll wake up in the morning and find themselves tied up right over the fire. Oh, for the god of this island. Then he'll give us more men. I can't wait to kill our guests right now. Be patient, my friend. The morning will soon come and we'll do our thing. Oh my god, are they trying to kill us? Why don't I stab them with my knife? What? They're all crazy. We should run away from here. Why do we have to wait until morning? We can kill them right now. No, for the ritual, it has to be done in the sunlight. We must wait. That's great. Mikey and I still have time to get off this island. I gotta wake him up first. That's just awful. They pretended to love us on purpose. Mikey, get up. We're in grave danger. They're trying to kill us. Get up. Stop sleeping. Mikey! It's time to get out of here. Wake up. This is no time to rest. Ouch, what happened? Why are you waking me up? Those sick women are trying to kill us. We've got to get off this island as fast as we can. Uh, why would they want to kill us? They like us. They love us. I don't know. They want to do some kind of ritual and then kill us as a sacrifice to some gods on this island. Oh my god. Then we've got to get out of here before they come after us. Where was the last place they were? They were over there behind the wall. We should get out of the house quietly and unnoticed. Okay. Keep your eyes open, JJ. They could be waiting for us anywhere. I'm always on the lookout, Mikey. I think they've already gone to their cabins. Then we ran to the beach. Let's go. Escape from the island begins. I almost believe them. Oh my god. I like them so much. I really didn't want to go home. Who knew it was an island of maniacs? Uh, how do we get out of here? There's lava all around. I completely forgot about that. I don't know. We have to figure something out. Maybe build some kind of ship. Oh, I have an idea. What kind of idea? We're gonna build a raft. And we'll get the planks from that palm tree over there, JJ. And on that raft, we're gonna get off this island. Won't this wooden raft burn up in the lava? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's no other plan. Break the tree, JJ. There goes our mega salvage ship. This boat will take us home. Uh, it's a whole trough, Mikey. We're not gonna get very far on it. If you have another plan, it's too late. Passengers, I invite you all to our cruise ship. Yeah, a cruise ship. That's funny. Oh my god, JJ, those maniacs spotted us. Hey, stop right there. You're not getting off our island. We're not gonna let you do that. We've gotta stop them, girls. Wait for us. We need to talk to you. Don't swim away from us. Mikey, it's time to get off this island right now. Otherwise, they'll kill us both. Get on the raft. Hurry up. Stop, please. Come back here. You liked it here. We'll be friends. Yeah, we'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> I was kidding. No one will ever come to visit you again, you stupid maniacs. Let's swim home, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. They're so stupid. We just outsmarted them so easily. You'll be back here again, you stupid men. Hee hee hee, dumb women. Men are always smarter than... Hey everyone, we joined Mikey and our parents at the store to buy groceries. Parents are already inside shopping. Hey, hey, this is the best store we have in town. Mom told us we'd have a delicious dinner tonight. I heard that too. Gotta go see what kind of groceries they buy there. That's what we're gonna do. You can guess what mom's gonna cook for us. 
and it's boring just standing in the street. It's better to go and stand in the store with your parents. It's beautiful here, isn't it, JJ? Yeah, that's how it seems to me, too. Let's hurry up and look, or we won't make it in time. We'll make it in time for sure. Here, look, they're still standing there thinking about what to buy. Let's go find out what they bought. And we'll find out when we get home. Hey, Mom, did you get everything? Not yet. We're picking out what we're going to eat today. We know. How much longer? I don't know yet. Go take another walk and wait for us there. Oh, all right, fine. We'll go then. We have just the right amount of time. It's true. Wow, JJ, look at this cool toy standing there. How cool and a little scary she looks. We'll have to ask our parents to buy it. I liked her too. Let's go find out soon. Let's go. Mom, look at this. We found a beautiful toy. Will you buy it for us? What did you find? What toy did you find in there? I'll show you. Look how cool she is. We want her. Oh my god, how scary she looks. Well, why? What kind of toys do you want anyway? Don't you have enough of them at home? We have one, but we want this toy. We don't have that one. Do you want it? Do we have a lot of money to buy you new toys every time? Fine, we don't need anything. Asked for one toy and this is the reaction. Let's go outside, JJ. I don't understand why they can't buy it. I don't understand it either. We haven't asked to buy us anything in a long time. And now they've just taken the pity on us, which is very unkind of them. Such a great toy. And as usual, we don't get it. That's too bad. Here they come to buy, but I don't see any toys. So it wasn't a joke. Let's get in the car, JJ. I don't even want to talk to them. Let's do it. Here they come, though, happy to be here. Without the toy, they're happy, and we're sad. Why didn't you buy us a toy? You just got greedy? Don't you get it? Have you seen her price? Have you made any money in your life? But it's been so long since we've asked you for anything. It's just a toy. Enough of this talk. Let's go home already. I see. No toys for us. Thank you. It'll be dark soon, and we're still standing here. We have to leave already. Enough of these dramatic scenes. You can live without this toy. Let's go home. That's not even the point. It's just frustrating. Let's get in the car. Yeah, they just took one little toy for their sons. Come on. Let's just go home. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh. Okay, it's true. Give it a like if you didn't get what you wanted either. Or are we the only kids out there? It's time to go. In the end, kids will end up cooking a meal that's not what you wanted. We've come up with something else. No toy, no dinner. And what's that a lot of toys? Don't make me laugh. It's not like we asked you to buy us 20 toys. We only asked for one. It's true, they're greedy. I'm very angry with them. Yeah. They would have just bought it and everything would have been fine. We'll remember that for them, Mikey. I'll remind them of the time they didn't buy us a toy. Oh, who's here, I wonder? I don't know. No one's ever come to our house this late. I'll have to go see. Maybe someone important has come to see us. Let's go together, because I'm curious too. Okay, no problem. And they're calling us so insistently. I'm very curious as to who's coming. Wait, Mikey, don't open it without me. Are you ready to open it? Sure, come on, don't drag it out, open up. Okay, I'm opening it. <gasps> wow, is that the toy from the store? How did she end up here? And how did she ring the doorbell? And there's no one around. It's weird. Or maybe it was just the parents who realized their mistake and surprised us like this. That's right. I should have realized that. They're turning out to be so good. That's right. They're good. But where are they? I thought they were at home. What difference does it make? Come on, get your toy and let's go to our room. I agree with you completely. I'm so relieved about this. My parents finally figured it out. Still, she looks scary enough. But that's even better. We've never had toys like this before. She'll protect us from ghosts. Let's go to the room. We'll play with her. We'll have to come up with some kind of game to play with her. It's going to be very simple. Such a cool toy will be able to play any game. Moments later. It's so good to have that doll now, JJ. Yes, she's excellent. She's great. She's beautiful. She's perfect. We're gonna blow the dust off it. Our parents didn't want to buy us one for some reason. I like this surprise, JJ. We were wrong to resent our parents. They know how to make good toys. You know, I'd want to be friends with a doll like that in real life if it were alive. Even if you consider it's a girl. And socializing with them is not cool at all. Hey, Mikey, JJ. It's time for you to go to bed. Yeah, stop playing already. You have early school tomorrow? What is that? That ugly doll from the store? How did you get it? You stole it from the store? Actually, you gave it to us. Did you forget that? We didn't buy you anything. Stop talking nonsense. We don't let you play with that stuff. Throw it out now. Who slipped that 
that doll under our door, then. I don't know who gave you that doll. I forbid you to play with it. It's a terrible toy. I don't understand. It's a normal toy. Why are you so angry? We told you that already. We're gonna throw that toy away right now. Hey, please don't do that. You disobeyed us. I'd punish you so much for that. If we said you can't do it, you can't do it. You disobedient children, both of you. What harm can this toy do to us? You just got mad for no reason. She's too ugly. I'm also afraid of her. You must have stolen this stupid, scary, and crying clown. You two little thieves. Shame on you. Hey, we didn't steal anything. Give it back to us. We liked her a lot. We'll do whatever you say. Just leave her with us. No, we're gonna throw it in the trash. JJ, let's get after them. Wait, Mom, Dad, if you want to play with this doll too, we can all play together. We can share all the toys. We don't need any of your toys at all. And there's no way this toy is going to show up in your collection? Ha ha. They're still laughing. They're mocking us. You're already addicted to this doll. It's spoiling you and making you angry. We should definitely get rid of it. She's not bewitched. What are you talking about? Nah, live in a dumpster, you freak. Oh my God. I think you're the ones who are bewitched, not us. He's still insulting us. We'll punish you later, JJ. It's not like we did anything wrong. Then where did you get this doll? She came to our house by herself. Oh my God, <laughs> now you've upset Mikey. Are you happy? Mikey, calm down. We'll find a better doll than that. But I want that doll my parents threw away. You will never see it. We don't need that doll. Let's go play with other toys, Mikey. Stop crying. We'll find a toy a hundred times cooler than that one. Please calm down. You're such a crybaby. You're six years old. Be a grown-up man. Oh my God. I'm not ugly. I'm a pretty doll. Why are their parents so mean to me? My mascara just ran out of my eyes. I was so glad those two boys at least liked me. I should play with them, but I have to sneak past their evil parents. I'm gonna have to teach those parents a lesson. They'll never be so mean to me again. You know, darling, when I saw that doll, I was overcome by some very intense fear. She scares me too, but it's okay. Now we are rid of her and we'll never see that scary thing again. I really hope so. There is no way our kids should be playing with such a horrible thing. Let's just relax and keep watching cartoons. Why don't they want a SpongeBob doll? He's so cute and funny. Kids always want to play with all kinds of trash. When we were kids, we covered ourselves in mud and were happy about it. Here comes Pomni. What a big house here. I could easily live with them, but for some reason, no one likes me. I hate that doll. She belongs by the trash. What? My place is by the dumpster? How dare you say that about me? I'll show them both that it's not worth insulting Pomni. We should have cut that stupid doll into little pieces. Ha ha ha. You shouldn't have said that just now, you stupid idiot. In fact, I'd burn it in front of our children just for fun. Oh, yeah. It's three o'clock in the morning. You're keeping me awake. I have have to go to school tomorrow. Can you at least keep your crying down? No! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, did you hear that, Mikey? Yeah, those are our parents. Something happened to them. Let's go check it out. Maybe they're just yawning before they go to bed. People don't yawn so loud, JJ. I don't know. Oh my god, mom, dad, what happened to them? I don't know. Who's strong enough to knock out our parents? And why would anyone do that? I don't know. Maybe it's the robbers. Robbers don't rob houses where the lights are on and there are people inside. Maybe they just wanted to sleep on the floor and yawned a lot. This is a stupid idea. Oh my god. I think I figured out who beat up our parents. And who's that? It was me. Your doll is Pomni. I just wanted to play, but your parents were too mean to me. Oh my god. Are you alive? You're scary. I'm not scary. Let's play together. We'll have a lot of fun. Oh my god. JJ, stay away from her. Why are you afraid of me? You wanted to play with me. Oh my god. Run, Mikey. She's going to beat us like she beat our parents. Let's hide in the pantry. I don't think she'll find us here. Oh my god. We never should have taken that stupid doll to the doorstep. Keep your voice down, Mikey. She can hear us and find us here. She's very strong. I can't imagine what she can do to us. We should be afraid of her. By the way, she chased us up the stairs. Where did she go? Maybe she's standing around the corner listening to us. Oh my God, she's here. Look over there. What do you mean I'm ugly? That's very offensive, you know? You want me to beat you too? Oh no, Mikey, we gotta go. Stop right there. You're going to play with me. This is going to be fun. No one's gonna play with you. Run. Then I'm gonna kill you. Oh my God, you don't have to do that. Run, JJ. Where are you running to? Run outside. We can run away from her anytime we want.
moment. Oh my god, we should never have left her at our house. Well, we kind of got away from her. She could be hiding anywhere. She could appear behind our backs at any moment. It was the same in the pantry. What did she do to our parents anyway? Something very bad. Did she kill them? Or are they just sleeping? I heard them screaming. She hurt them, that's what I know. Oh no, she's coming out of the house looking for us. We gotta go hide. And where did they run off to? Let's hide behind that dumpster. Easy, Mikey, don't make a sound. She'll probably just walk out of here and forget about us. Well, where'd they run off to again? Yee, we outsmarted her, Mikey. I hope she never comes to visit us again. We don't need a crazy doll like that at all. She's also scary. She also stinks. And she's a girl. And I don't like girls. Me too. Being friends with guys is so cool. Oh no. JJ, we have a problem. Turn around. Here I am. Do I stink? Am I ugly? I'm going to punish you for saying that. I'm sorry. Ouch. Ah. 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 Oh, not me. Ah. Hi. Hey, everyone. Mikey and I have been sitting around playing on the computer all day today. That's right. Our parents let us do it today. And they also bought us a new monitor. And plus, they changed the motherboard. Now the computer runs fast and smoothly. That's the way it is. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. I've got a little bit, too. Guess it's time for us to go out to eat. Let's go ask mom to make us something delicious. That's a great idea. We'll eat and play computer again. Then let's not waste any time because my stomach is begging for food to be put in it soon. You're a strange one, JJ, talking to your belly. It's more like you're the weird one who actually thinks I'm talking to my stomach. Mom, JJ is there already communicating with his belly. We are very hungry. It's true. Could you make us something to eat? Oh, kids, you'll have to wait a little longer then. I'll have to go to the store. All right, we'll wait. Great then. I'll buy the right groceries and make a delicious lunch. That's great. What do you want to make? I We'll most likely make carbonara pasta. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that's a great idea. Mikey and I love it. Yay, thank you. Then wait for me. I'll try to make it quick. Okay, thank you, Mom. Bye-bye. That's great. Mom makes a great carbonara pasta. It'll be delicious. What are we going to do now while we wait for Mom? I don't know. What are some suggestions? Let's go watch TV with me. Is that what Dad's telling us from the bathroom? Yeah, boys, I'll be right out. Hey, I heard what you guys were saying. What's the matter with you two? It's okay. We were just hungry and asked Mom to go grocery shopping. It all makes sense now. All right, then. Why don't we go watch TV together? That's a great idea. Just so we can watch... Uh, cartoons? Of course, the three of us only watch cartoons together. That's great. Now we have something to do. All the more reason I wanted to take a break from the computer. And watching SpongeBob is a great pleasure. I'll agree with you on that one. All right, guys. Let's watch and stay tuned. Yeah, all right. Because you're a big talker, JJ. Be quiet. Oh, who would tell me that? All right, everybody. Let's see it. What wonderful weather it is outside. I should go indoors more often. At least go out to the store. I'm getting tired of sitting at home and doing housework all the time. Just a little more and I'll be coming to the store. Hey, pretty lady, wait a little longer. What? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just a regular person who lives in this world. I saw a beautiful girl and would like to meet her. Would you mind getting to know me and like going out? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Think about it. I'm not rushing you. You know what? I think I might meet you. You have such a great car. What are we going to do? If you like my car, then we can drive it to my boat and get to know each other better. How about that? Do you still have your boat? Wow, you're a real catch for me. Let's go. I didn't have any plans. And you're not afraid to go somewhere with strangers? Why should I be afraid of such a charming and handsome man? That's great. Then let's not waste any time. Get in the car. Let's go. I totally agree with you. Take me to your boat and we'll spend some quality time together. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to make such wonderful acquaintances, too. How do you like the car? You ever drive one of these? No, I've never ridden one of these. It's really cool. I love it. You haven't seen the boat yet. Three hours later. I'm so hungry. Where's mom disappeared to? My stomach hurts a lot myself. Mom should have been back by now. How long has she been gone? It's not that far to the store. Two hours, probably. Let's go see what time it is. Oh my god, she's been gone for three hours. That's too much time to go to the store and come back. Gotta go to Dad's and find out. He knows exactly where Mom is. Yeah, that's a great idea. He could call her and there'd be no point in us even bothering. Let's go quickly then or I'll starve to death. It's a good thing phones were invented. It's very convenient. It's true. Daddy can call and we'll all know perfectly well. Let's go tell him. Hey, Dad, we need your help. Are you asleep? Wake up! What's up, guys? Mikey and I are very hungry and Mom never came back from the store. 
call her. She still hasn't come? How long has it been? It's been like three hours. Wow, I slept well. Let's go call your mom and see where she is. That's great. Thanks, Dad. What are you worrying about before your time? We'll call you and mom will tell you she's late. Oh, nice. We'll finally know when we can eat. And the stomach will stop talking to us. All right, I'm dialing. It's all coming out now. Waiting for her to pick up the phone. Yes, yes, yes. The number you have reached is not in service. Her cell phone must be off. What does that mean? Did something happen to her? I don't even know. Maybe her phone just died. Call again. Could it be some kind of mistake? There can be no mistake. It's a cell phone service. But I'll try it again. Hurry up and call quickly. Or it could be anything. All right, enough of this creepy talk. I'm calling. I wish she'd answer. The number you have reached is not in service. So what are we supposed to do about it? She won't answer anymore. All right, everybody, kids, settle down. Nothing bad has happened yet. I'll call the police and they'll take care of our problem. That's a great solution to the problem. It's better that way. It's going to be okay. Dad, I'm really worried about Mom. Don't worry. She's probably just delayed. Besides, the police are here. They'll take care of our problem. That's what JJ says. It's going to be okay. Now I'm going to open the door and tell them everything. Our dad is very smart and sensible. Good afternoon. Did you call the police? Yes, we did. All right. Uh-huh. Tell me what happened. Policeman, we're in trouble. Our mom left for the store three hours ago and never came back. We've tried calling, but her phone is unavailable. Okay, I see where she was going. Why was she leaving? She was off to the store. She had to get groceries for the kids to eat. Okay, well, we've been outlining the scope of the search a little bit. If you don't have any more information, we'll go look for it. Don't worry, we'll do our best to find her. No one in our town has ever gone missing. Try to find her, or we haven't had anything to eat. She's never been gone this long before. We're gonna do the best we can, guys. We went searching. Thank you, policeman. Let us know as soon as you hear anything. We will be sure to pass any information on to you. You don't have to worry. Okay, thank you again. Have a nice day. We'll be sure to find her. I really believe that these are not empty words, and they will really be able to find our mom. They can't promise for sure, but I'm sure they'll try. I have a lot of faith. Okay, kids, we've done our best. Go to your room. We'll wait for information. All right, we'll wait for mom. We'll see what else we can do for now. JJ, I'm really worried. I have a feeling she won't be found. Don't think about it. She'll be found for sure. You have to believe. Let's go to the room and talk some more. All right. Even if they don't find her, we'll go look for her ourselves. I won't leave my mom in trouble. I'll go with you. Although if the police don't find it, we certainly can't. It's already getting dark outside. It's okay. We'll figure something out. I promise you. Thank you. Don't go so fast. I'm scared. Don't worry. There's a pro driver behind the wheel. What a fast car you have. Wow. We're almost there. You're about to see my miracle. Phew. It was a wonderful emotion. I've never ridden like that. I'm glad. And now you can look and see where I've brought you. You'll be surprised. Well, what's in there? Ooh, huh. Oh, is that your big boat? Wow. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Welcome to my yacht. Make yourself at home. Now we're going on a short trip. I've only seen one of these on TV. I never thought I'd get to ride one in my life. I'm here to make your dreams come true, beauty. Thank you so much. You are beautiful. The next day. Do you really think they'll do a better job than the cops? This is the best agency in our city. They have found even the most dangerous criminals, and they'll find our mom in no time. That's great! Then let's go tell them about our problem. Let's go, but on one condition, I'll tell them myself. You just stand there and listen. No problem. Oh, I know him. That man was on TV. Said he was the best of the best. That's exactly what I was telling you. Come on, let's not waste time. Hello. Hello, we come to you with a big request. Greetings. What's up with you guys? We have a problem. Our mom didn't come home. Why don't you sit down and tell me exactly what's going on? All right, we're coming. Anyway, my mom went to the store yesterday and never came back. That's the way it was. We're very sad about it. Can you help us find her? Do you even have any money? Yeah, we'd give anything to find her. You're our last hope. Okay, guys, I'm gonna help you. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna find her. You just pay me and I'll do whatever it takes to get her home. Oh, that's great. JJ, give him our money. That's all the money we could find. Is this enough? It certainly not much, but I understand your problem. I can help you. You can go home and I will give you all the information I can find. Finally. Yeah. We're very happy. Thank you. All you guys go home. I'm going to do my job perfectly. Come on, Mikey. Thank you so much. We'll come home and wait for you and mom. You found a good specialist, JJ. I'm sure he'll help us for sure. It's true. Such people never leave ordinary citizens in trouble. Now we just have to go home and wait for our mom safe and sound. It's the right thing to do. Let's not interfere with the process. Now we've definitely done our best. All that's left is to wait patiently. Thank you for this wonderful time. 
I have never been so thrilled before. Lie back and enjoy the rich life, beautiful. I really liked you, and that's why I took you with me. To show you how I live. You're living beautifully. I'd live like this for the rest of my life. That's great. Thank you for this opportunity. So, how far I had to go to find her. So while the kids are worrying, she's vacationing on an island with a rich guy. What an ugly thing she's doing. Her family will know all about her. Lying there and not even thinking about his family. What a horrible mother she is. But that's okay. We'll be without all of them in the end. We should take pictures of them and send them to the kids. Let them know where their mom disappeared to. I'm ashamed of her. And they'll decide what to do with her. Uh, JJ, you have no idea how much I miss our mommy. I hear you, Mikey. We all miss her a lot. I hope she comes back. Oh, what's that? That must be mom coming home. Maybe it's that detective coming in with his work summaries. I don't know, Mikey. Let's go open the door and find out who's ringing the doorbell. If it's our mom, I'm going to hug her from the doorstep. No, I'll hug her first, and you're going to stand aside. She loves me more, so she'll hug me first. Let's open the door and see who she hugs first. Uh-oh, our mom's still not here. Then who rang the bell? I don't know. Maybe someone's dabbling. Wow, there's some papers in here. It's not paper, it's pictures with our mom. She's lying on the beach drinking cocktails. And why is there a cameraman lying next to her? I don't know. Those look like photos of the same detective. Is he saying our mom left us and is cheating on our dad? Looks like it. We need to show these pictures to our dad. I don't think he'll be happy about it. But he still has to see it. I'd be very upset if I found out a woman was cheating on me with some dirty cameraman. It's not cool at all to cheat on someone. She cheated on us too. She forgot about us, and we're still hungry, by the way. Mikey, all you want to do is eat. Stop thinking with your stomach. Hey, Dad, come here, please. Okay, Mikey. Hey, kids, I heard someone ringing the doorbell. Our favorite mom's here to see us? We have some bad news. What are you talking about? We have photos of that detective we hired. He brought his work. We're sorry, Dad. Sorry for what? Let's take a look at these pictures. Oh, my God. Is that my wife? With some freak? She's cheating on me? It's unfortunately true, Dad. She did a very bad thing to all of us. And how do you feel about about that, Dad. I'm gonna divorce that stupid woman. I loved her with all my heart, and she just spit in it. Now we're not going to live with that horrible woman. Then who's going to cook our food? Mikey, I don't care about the food. I don't want that woman in our house anymore. Yeah, that's sad. She cheated on all of us. I hate her so much. Here I am, kids. Did you miss me? I was a little late at the store. The lines were so long. So did you have fun? Ugh, why are you guys so sad? We all know what store and what line you've been in all this time. A what? What are these pictures? That's not me. Nah! I'll explain explain everything to nah! you. JJ, we're kicking mom out of our house. You're a liar. You cheated on me with some creep. Go away. No one here loves you anymore. What? I've been set up. I was really at the store. Don't kick me out. Here are your belongings. You'll be staying with that cameraman. Wherever you want, just not here. Darling, please forgive me. I want to live with you. I love you. Go away. Mikey's already lost weight because of you. You didn't even bring food from the store. You're no use to me at all. Please forgive me. Give me a second chance. That's better. We'll do better together than with that lie. Don't worry, kids. I'll find you a better mom. Now I have to keep cooking your food. You can play in your room for now. Oh, and one more thing. There's some delicious burgers at dinner tonight. Oh, cool. Our dad's the best. I love you kids, too. What a cool dad we have. He doesn't cheat, he doesn't drink, and he makes burgers. We're very lucky to have our dad. He's the best in the world. Good thing such a bad mom won't be living with us anymore. And I don't feel sorry for our mom at all. Let her go wherever... Hi, everybody. My name is JJ. I am in an orphanage since I don't have parents. And this is my brother, Mikey. I don't understand why you're so cheerful. Because Christmas is coming. We're in an orphanage without parents. And those idiots are still excited about some stupid Christmas tree. How am I supposed to cheer you up? I'd be happy for my new parents. Yes, new parents would be a nice Christmas present. I'm too sad without my parents, JJ. But it's still worth it to rejoice in the little things during such difficult times in life. You should learn from them how to have fun. The only thing that would make me happy is a little Christmas present. No one has given me a gift in years. Don't worry. I hear there are enough gifts for all the kids in this orphanage this year. That's good. Last year, I was last in line and didn't get a gift for me. Huh, you're such a loser, Mikey. Oh, look, there's new parents coming in to adopt that girl. She's a very lucky kid. Do you want to live with us? You'll live in the basement. You'll like it for sure. You living in a basement is not cool. I'm so jealous of her. Oh, my God. Are you crying again? Oh, my God. We're 
You're gonna be adopted someday. Don't be so desperate, Mikey. Let's go to our room. You need to calm down. I don't want to calm down. Well, you can cry all you want. Just do it in your room. Otherwise, we'll be punished again. If it's any consolation, I can give you my Christmas present when I get it. I want all the presents under the tree. No, Mikey, this is too much even for you. You've got a lot of nerve, I see. Nobody's giving you all the presents. You know, I'm not giving you my present either. Oh my god! The next day. You know, JJ, I'm not in the Christmas mood I was in last year. Because you cried all the moods out last day, Mikey. Look outside. It's winter. It's snowing. It's like Christmas. What am I supposed to do with this snow? The only reason people love winter is because of Christmas. Hey, Mikey, JJ, are you busy? I'm coming in. Hurry up and get the presents out from under the Christmas tree. Wow, presents, now? Stop talking. Get in line for your presents. I still have a line to stand in. Stop whining, Mikey. Hurry up and get your present. And what exactly are we getting? It's all random. Okay, I like it already. We might get a really cool gift. I'm glad you're finally in a good mood, Mikey. Let's go to our tree. There's a lot of presents. Every child in this orphanage will be happy. Oh, I love that. Since there's a lot of presents, I guess I could somehow get two presents instead of one. Hi, kids. Let's start sorting out the presents. Yay, presents. Wow, there's a whole bunch of those boxes. There's definitely enough for everyone. Just please, don't take more than one gift, okay? All right. No, of course not. Okay, teacher. Okay, quiet, everybody. Get in line. No crowding. We need to take first place so no one steals our present. Ow, ow, Aya, don't push. Yeah, why are you pushing? Because there's never enough presents for everyone. Shut up. Well, these kids are rude these days, I can tell. They're already starting to sort through the presents there. Oh my god. We might not get ours in time. They said there were a lot of gifts. Don't worry about it. I don't like the whole thing anyway. Wait a little while and we'll get your present. Wow, I got such a cool gift. Thank you so much. And here's my present. Haha, <laughs> there's not enough presents left. And now it's our turn. I got the last present. Haha, <laughs> you guys are such losers. Seriously? No more presents? What about us? There was a whole bunch of boxes. Our present was stolen. We'll have to ask the teacher. Hey, I'm sorry, but we didn't have enough presents. It's all gone. How did this happen? Everyone just sorted out all the presents. We didn't get anything. Uh-oh. Looks like you guys didn't have any presents. Are you stupid? We just told you that. It's okay, kids. You can get your gift for next year. No need to worry. What? We have to wait another year? Aren't you guys crazy? Maybe you've been misbehaving, so you didn't get a present. Next time, be good children. Bye-bye, losers. Uh, you heard that. She called us losers. That's horrible. Some freak stole our present. They stole two presents, and no one saw it. Oh, my God. And then you started crying again. What if I cry too? Are you going to make me feel better? I don't think so. You don't need this gift. They're giving you some stupid little toy for a baby. And we're grown-ups. We can do without unnecessary gifts. And I want that present. I don't want to anymore. We can take a gift away from some weak kid. Sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, or we could write a letter to Santa Claus and ask him for a present. This is the person who will definitely give the gift. Hmm, sounds smart. I agree. Let's write him a letter. It's not cool to live without a gift. Okay, but you're the writer. I have terrible handwriting. No, let you write it. You're going to write it. Santa wouldn't understand that. Five minutes later. Well, the letter's ready. Now you can mail it. Where are we going to send this letter? We're going to write Santa Claus on the address? Um, I hadn't thought of that. What are we supposed to do then? You just throw the letter in the air. I'm sure he'll find it and read it. Sounds like a solid and genius plan, JJ. Okay, I'll trust you as a professional mailman. Fly, letter. Fly to Santa Claus and bring us lots of presents. It's spinning strangely. Fly where you belong, stupid letter. Hey, don't insult the letter. It's supposed to bring us presents. Forgive my stupid brother. Uh, what are you talking about? Letters don't have feelings. It's just a piece of paper. It'll still get to Santa Claus. You still have to be a little kinder to everything around you. I'll be mad at everyone because everyone treats me badly. Maybe it's time to change. Then everyone will treat you better, Mikey. Mm, maybe you're right. Okay. Hello, I'm Santa's secretary. He's on vacation. I'm working for him. Okay, I'll have a french fry, two Big Macs, a medium Coke, and a sweet and sour sauce. I'm sorry, but this is Santa Claus' office, not McDonald's. Hey, Chica, let's go meet up then. This is the ski beady toilet. Oh my god, bye-bye. Ha ha ha! I'm not giving you any presents. Hello, Santa. Oops, I mean his deputy. I found a letter addressed to Santa Claus. Since you're replacing him now, it belongs to you. I'm busy! Hey, your job is to give gifts. Get to work fast. Hey, I am actually your boss. My boss is Santa, and you're just a substitute. Get to work. Okay, give me your letter already. 
I'll deliver a gift to this sender. Who sends paper letters now when there's email? Traditionally, the letters were handwritten. We are obliged to answer it. Okay, all right. Who wrote this? Mikey and JJ from the orphanage? It's not easy for kids these days. They didn't get a present? That's terrible. I'll get to work ordering them right away. These orphans will not be left without attention or a gift. Hey, you, quickly prepare two of the coolest gifts ever. Is that the least you can do? And get me some coffee, too, and hurry up. No coffee, you insolent secretary. I'll make the best presents. Santa Claus's elves will try to make the children happy this holiday. What do you mean, no coffee? How brazen elves are these days. Now I know why Santa got tired of working all this time and took a vacation from them. They can't even serve coffee. And I gotta get to JJ and Mikey's. Never done this before. Ah, it's so cold to walk around outside in such a short skirt. Never mind, let's get to work. I've never delivered my own gifts to my kids, and I'm going to fly to them on this sled. How am I supposed to drive it? I don't even have a driver's license. I wonder if you need a license to drive a reindeer sled. Maybe not. Santa Claus didn't tell me that. Oh, these reindeer are smart enough to take me on their own. I hope they know where we're going. Oh my god! That's so high! I'm afraid of heights! I'd rather go by car! No! I'm gonna be sick! Three hours later. At least in this orphanage, we are fed properly. Yum, 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 of course! The food here is delicious! It would have been better if we had been given a gift. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We're eating! Don't disturb us! It's nighttime outside. It's time for you all to go to bed. Did you even see how dark it got outside? No, nope, we didn't. And if I don't want to sleep? What did you say? You cheated us out of our presents! I don't care at all. Go to sleep. Everyone! Okay, okay, okay. You are so mean, aren't you? She told you she doesn't care about us or anything. Yeah, Mikey. Living in an orphanage is not easy. Everyone yells at us and bullies us. You two losers. You're also freaks. Hey, that's already hurtful. If I see you awake at this time again, I'll punish you. Okay, just don't insult us. You two stinkers. Go to bed now. Okay, JJ. I realized something. And what did you realize? Our kindergarten teacher is crazy. She likes to insult us specifically. I figured that out a long time ago, Mikey. Uh-oh. That's not nice. Oh my god. There's a thief in our window. No, I am not a thief. I'm Santa's helper. We have to call the police. Don't do this, please. She doesn't look like a robber. I'm not a robber. I brought you presents. Get me out of here already. What do you say to that, Mikey? We'll help her. Besides, she brought us presents. Finally. Hurry up. My butt's freezing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow, 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 ow. You're hurting me. Wait, there's got to be another way. We can push you from behind. Oh, no. This is a bad idea. Pull yourself up. Okay, let's move on. Ay, 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 ay. Whew, that wasn't easy. Thank you, kid. You could just come in the front door. They wouldn't let me in dressed like that. I have no idea why. Okay, I'm here for a reason. I have a present for you. You wrote a letter to Santa Claus, but he's on vacation. Here are your presents. Wow, they found our letter after all. Such big presents. The other children were given small boxes. Thank you so much, Lady Santa. Thank you. You are so cool. Oh, what cute babies. Giving gifts turns out to be so nice. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, of course. The giveaways are mega cool. Thank you. That's great. Then I must get on with my work. Back out the window? Hmm? Out the window? Probably not. I'll go through the door. I hope no one sees me. All right. Good luck, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. I hope you behaved well this year and will behave the same way next year. Bye-bye, sweet babies. Bye-bye, Mrs. Santa. Bye-bye. Thanks for the gifts. You see, Mikey, now we have some super cool gifts. I can see that. I should have whined and been such a bad boy all this year. Now I'm going to be on my best behavior, so I'll definitely get more presents next time. That's right, Mikey. But the great greatest gift of all is having you around. JJ is my dearest brother. Oh, I love you, Mikey. Hey everyone! Mikey and I had a short day of school today, so we'll be heading home now. Oh, how I love days like this when I don't have to sit studying until the evening. Yeah! Let's get out of here soon, JJ. That's right, because now they'll keep us at school for a long time and we'll leave late as usual. Yeah, it's happened more than once. That's why we gotta get out of here. Let's go! Wait, this is important information for everyone. Yes, indeed, you can't miss it. That's homework for all of us watching this. You might want to hold off for that. It's true. Thanks for showing me. But now it's time to go. Everyone's already memorized it. That's right. All the more reason I'm excited to drive my fancy sports car. You're great, but I can only ride my bike so far. You're sure to earn yourself one of these. I don't doubt you. Just as beautiful and powerful. My bike is worse, but it's good exercise. It's true, but a car is better. I think so, too. I think soon we'll be able to drive cars together. It's true. The two of us can still conquer the world. Even though it's more comfortable to ride in a car. But look how I look from the outside side on this beautiful transportation. Yeah, Mikey. It doesn't look as cool as you think. Let's go home already. I'm looking forward to a longer vacation. Go ahead, JJ.
put it in first gear and race home. I love this car so much. She's super fast. Yeah, I won't be able to get away that fast. But I have great motivation to become successful. We'll get home slowly. So here I am. It didn't take long. My legs are well pumped from cycling. It's probably much nicer and faster to drive a car. But a bike has a lot of perks, too. Not everyone has the opportunity to drive a car. Well, it's time to go home. Home sweet home. How glad I am to be here. Especially after school. It's a pleasure to come here. Now the only thing left to do is to reach my room and lie down. Happiness is enormous. Let's hurry up. Where do you think you're going? In a hurry to get to your room? Yeah. Well, I thought I'd go and lie in my room for a while. Are you that tired? Why is the house so messy? Aren't you ashamed of yourself for not cleaning up? You don't want to help out around the house at all, lazy bones. Well, I just got home from school. When would I have time to clean up? I'll get some rest, and then I'll do it. It's not a problem. I don't care where you've been. Grab a mop and go clean the apartment. And don't you dare argue with your mother. Look how dirty it is here, don't you think? You'll rest when you're done. Well, Mom, that's not fair. Okay, I'm gonna clean up now. You're very mean to me. You might as well give me some time. I don't see any problem with that. And all you do is yell and curse at me, not even listening at all. Stop talking and make a cheerful face. You're living too well. Yeah, it's too good. One pleasure to drive and not think about anything but the road. I love such moments. Thank you so much to the parents for this opportunity. In the future, I will definitely earn a lot of money and help my mom. But for now, I'm just excited. Here I am outside my house. What do you guys think? Would you like to live like this? Give me a like if you buy a house like this in the future. And be sure to post in the comments what you think of my car. Okay, that's it. We can go home now. I'm a little tired from the road. At least just lie on the bed for a while, and then we'll think about it from there. There's my mom. She's doing something. Oh, JJ, you're back from school. Yeah, I'm already done. Is everything all right? How do you like the car? Did you have a good trip? Of course, Mom. It's a dream car. No other way. I'm so glad. But I have one more surprise for you. Are you ready to find out? Always ready. What kind of surprise did you have in store? Come on, I'll show you. You've been asking me for it for a long time, so I got you one. Is that the new console? I can't hide anything from you. You're right. Now you have a new game console. You can use it all you want. Wow, but it's so expensive and there are so few of it around the world. Thank you so much, Mom. I'm so glad. That's great, but that's not all. Keep some more pocket money. Spend it however you want. It's like a fairy tale, isn't it? You're the best mom ever. Thank you so much. I never have any pity for my son. Take advantage of everything. If you run out of money, you can come up and ask for more at any time. Thank you so much. I love you so incredibly hard. I'm going to go to my room to rest. And you do whatever you want. Okay, then I'll call Mikey and ask him to come over and play consoles with me. Mikey will be happy to always play the console. It's more fun with two, especially since he had never seen one before. How lucky I am to have a mom like that. I'm the luckiest kid in the world. I am very happy with everything my mom does for me. Now we need to call him and invite him over. He won't say no when he finds out what I've got. The main thing is to keep him awake because you can't wake up to things like this. All I have to do is remember his phone number. That seems about right. Now let's make the call. The number you have reached is not in service. Looks like the little one's sleeping after all. What a bad time. Then we'll have to go to his house and pick him up. He won't mind taking a ride in my supercar. Then let's not waste any time. To play more, we need to get him out of the house faster. Good thing my car will allow me to do that. Let's go get Mikey. It's so good to be a rich guy, but beggar Mikey has no money at all. I gotta help him. Mikey told me that he lives in a very poor house made of straw and clay. How awful! I would never live in a stinking hole like that. But it's not Mikey's fault he's so poor. It's his mom's fault. She works too little and earns too low a wage. And there's Mikey's house. I'd say it's made of poop. No, it's earth. Yeah, not cool. Hey, Mikey, come out for a walk. Mikey, stop sitting at home. Let's go to my house and play Xbox. Stop sleeping, Mikey. Hey, why are you yelling? What do you want? Hello, is Mikey home? I'm JJ. He's home, but he's grounded. He's cleaning up. You came at the wrong time. Get out of here, you stupid rich boy. Huh, yeah, I'm rich and you're not. What's the rudeness? Get out or I'll call the police. The police? Why? Because you're a stupid boy who's interfering with our life. Oh my God, Mikey's mom is so strict. Friends, do you have strict parents? Write about it in the comments. But 
but my parents are the best, kindest, and richest parents ever. I love them very much. I don't envy Mikey, of course. I wonder what Mikey's doing right now. I can't wait to see him again. Oh, God, I'm so sick of cleaning. Is that Mikey? I found him. He's really cleaning up. Hey, Mikey. Hey, it's me, JJ. Can he even hear me? Mikey, look at me. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, JJ. Hey, Mikey, stop cleaning up. Let's go to my house and play video games. Mm. Sounds like fun, but I heard your mom kicked you out of here. I don't care about her at all. I got a new console. This is the new Xbox. Oh, that's cool. I'd love to play with you. I just need to get out of here. Come on out already. Stop doing this stupid cleaning. But then what do I tell my mom? I'm grounded. I can't just leave the house. What is this? JJ, I told you to get out of here. She's a meanie. Spit in her face and get out of here. What is he even saying? I forbid you to be friends with him. Okay, mommy. And you, arrogant and stupid JJ. AJ. Hey, you're the stupid one. Get out of here. I've already called the police. But why? He didn't do anything. Shut up. Here's your broom. Sweep the whole house. Ah, uh, okay, Mom. Whatever you say. Why are you agreeing with her? Hit her over the head with that broom. You shut up. You're not in your own house to boss me around. I repeat, you are not welcome here. God, what a mean mom. I'd probably run away from home if I had a mom like that. But that's okay. I have a plan. I'm gonna sneak into this house at night and take Mikey to my place. It's not cool to live here. Good evening, I waited until it was dark outside and Mikey's mom was asleep. I'll just walk into their house, steal Mikey, and run away from here. Their family is so poor they can't afford to buy locks on their door. Anyone from the street could walk into their house at night. Okay, Operation Mikey Stealing is on. The most important thing is not to scream in here lest you wake up his screaming mom. Yeah, they're so poor here. Here comes this snake resting after yelling at Mikey all day. By the way, why is Mikey sleeping on the floor? Is it a family thing? They probably just don't have the money for a second bed. Poor Mikey. I feel so sorry for him. Time to wake him up. Mikey, get up! Oh, what's going on? JJ, what are you doing here? I came to save you. Let's go to my house. You're suggesting I run away from home. It'll all work out. Don't be afraid. Your mom's still asleep. Uh, I'll have to make sure of that. Oh, yeah, she's asleep. That's good. I hate her so much. She's taking full advantage of you. Yeah, I agree with you. I hate my mom. Let's go to your house and play the cool Xbox. Let's go, Mikey. Just don't make too much noise. In general, I think it's right to run away from home if your mom makes you clean the house. In fact, I agree with you. The child is the most important person in the family. Yeah, no one's gonna boss us around now. Let's go to my house in my Ferrari. A uh, Ferrari's not cool. Lamborghini's a good-looking car. Ha 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 Mikey. And you try to buy at least one of these cars. Mikey! Oh my God, your mom's awake. Where do you think you're going? You two stupid little kids. JJ, we gotta run to your car. Hurry up, otherwise she'll beat us both. I'm gonna kick your butts. Oh my God, not that way. That's that's too tender a place for me. Where are you going? Give me my son back. I'll punish you all. JJ, gas on the floor. Drive as fast as you can. I memorized your numbers. I'll find you, JJ. You'll never get away from me. Ah, we got away from her. That mom's not as fast as my cool Ferrari. You're gonna live here now, Mikey. All thanks to this wonderful car. I'm so glad I won't be living with that stupid mom anymore. Now you're going to live with my good mom. I hope we can be friends with her. Of course you will. She's very friendly. I never have to clean house again, I hope. Now, my Mikey, mommy cleans the house and mops the floors herself. Wow, your house is so big and rich. Yeah, I got enough money for a lot of cool stuff. You should meet my favorite mommy. Oh, okay. I hope I can stay with you guys forever. Of course you can. Now you'll be my little brother. Oh, hey, JJ. Oh, who's that with you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, my name is Mikey. I'm a friend of your son's. Oh, he's so cute. That's a pretty sweet boy. I want to keep him with us. Uh, all right, we have plenty of room in the house. Let him live with us. That's it, Mikey. You're living with us now. It's cool that I have a new home. I wonder what happened to his old house. His mom kicked him out. Now he has no place to live. Apparently your mom doesn't care about that at all. Good thing she doesn't ask a lot of questions. Mikey, stop talking. Let's go play my new game console. Sit back and have fun. Wow, that is such a soft couch. Better than your newspapers on the floor, huh? Much better. My back hurts from the cold floors in my old house. Oh, where do you have that Xbox? There he is standing right there. Wow, it's beautiful. Now we can play all the coolest games. I wonder if we can play Minecraft on it. Of course we can. I said we can play all the games. It's nice to be rich. It's not cool to be poor anymore. I hate poor people. Friends, like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Do you have a new Xbox? Write about it in the comments. Bye-bye.